A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Gentlemen, when Escobar competes, greatness may just be imminent. And Santos isn't one to waste a big opportunity when he gets one. He will fight his heart out to achieve his goals. Gentlemen, we are about to see a wrestling clinic. Here comes Brutus Creed. And his opponent, representing the Creed Brothers. From Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Brutus Kareem. A collegiate wrestling All-American certified powerhouse now as a pro. This man's a machine. Well, ever since joining WWE, he has started dominating and never looked back. Here's the vile Santos Escobar. Escobar's a loathsome individual who also shines as a complete narcissist. He gives you two choices, get on his ship and stay the course, or sink. This guy has zero moral compass. Will you two shut up? Escobar's an intellectual, he's insightful, and articulate. He knows the score and is reimagining Lucha Libre culture according to his vision. I still believe Santos is a despicable human being. And on the other side of the ring, we see a man who is elated at the thought of turning his body into a weapon of mass destruction. No lies there, Corey. Brutus Creed inflicts the kind of damage that an opponent carries with them the rest of their career. The bumps and bruises he inflicts will be a constant reminder of the battle against Brutus. What impact! He's getting a little battered now. Brutus showed off that mean streak with that one. Taking flight, diving body splash. Someone get the spatula. We have a human being to scrape up. Brutus began his career as a tag team competitor. What should he lean on flying solo in this matchup? Brutus's temper has already taken on a life of its own, but what really helps him is his focus. He's never more dangerous than when he's fully locked in, and having a plan of attack will go a long way for him here. Here's the Gorilla Press. Insane. What power. Insane. Up and down. Not done yet. Into a moonsault. What a combo. Just look at Brutus gain the momentum in this one. Brutus is fully locked in. He has a plan of attack and is focused on executing it. Ooh, elbow strike. Just muscling up their opponent into the gut wrench. He's looking a little weary now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. The adrenaline is pumping. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Kicks out. He still has life. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. And the rope break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Santos was ready there. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. A big knockdown. And another one. 
This is something else. Oh, what a clothesline. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Here they come. Ooh. Splash. As the arm bar stretch in. Oh. Distress starting to show on Creed's face. Looks like Brutus is having trouble generating any sort of defense. Just disrespectful. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Here we go. Suicide oh. dive. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. Whip back into the ring. Brutus turned with his opponent a little bit. Tagged with a punch. Deep arm drag. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. Escobar with Connecting with the Phantom Driver. Brutus Creed is down and out. Two. Uh, referee was about to help the winner celebrate. They would have none of that. Hey, good on him for being ready. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Got to have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. This is exactly why. If this is any indication, this is going to be a wild matchup. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. All hell has broken loose. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. This match is a power keg, ready to blow. Emotions are running. He goes for the quick pin. Not quite there yet. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Prince just looking to humiliate his opponent. Sidewalk slam. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Wrist clutch applied. How humiliating. Just kicks to the face. He's lost some of his win now. And Prince showing he has it. Look out! He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big time. He's in off the tag. Boom! Down to Odin. Here's a cover. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Side headlock applied. What a good Punch. measure. Tag. Running leg drop. Elton Prince trying to ramp things up. And Del Toro may have felt that coming. All the way up. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Is it enough? He gets an emphatic kick out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. The cross-face chicken wing. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. Delivers the oh, right there elbow and gets out of it. 
And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Uh, Black Widow locked it. Great wherewithal and power to escape. Tag made. Tandem offense on its way. Up across the shoulders. Oh, a gut buster. And that can put Joaquin Wilde in his place. Yeah, Prince came prepared for this matchup. Kick to the midsection. Sunset Quinn now into a powerbomb. And he easily stops the ref's count. He's still in this. Submission skills with an arm. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Close line. Reaches his partner for the tag. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Double axe handle smash. Tagged in. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. And that was an effect. And the cover for the win. This is it. Big boot. Vicious. That's run it for Prince before. that brutal attack earlier they were fighting a losing battle that certainly did seem like the determining factor in this match it took plenty of cunning and some killer instinct but what a win maybe not the words i would have chosen for describing how they pulled this off but yeah they won And here he comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Manhattan, New York. Weighing in at 167 pounds. El Guapo. Now, here's an example of someone who can maybe benefit from cooling down a little bit. What a bad temper. Corey, I completely disagree. Their tenacity has been the key to most of their success here in WWE. It's what makes them an exceptional competitor. Quite simply, Austin Theory is on a roll of epic proportions. And this superstar has a major test to stop that momentum. Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too.
It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. We've got one of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, well, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is going to stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. But let's not forget about the... From way up, a double axe handle. Oh, what an elbow high in the chin. Rearranging the face with a stomp. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, hooking up. Buster! Force going directly to the dome. That'll leave you seeing double for weeks. for his cocky attitude, for his showboating in and out of the ring. Would you consider that a hindrance to him here in this one, or is it the kind of mind games that could be beneficial to him? In this particular case, Cole, I think Theory could stand to cut back on the showboating. I think he's up against someone who isn't going to take too kindly to it, and I'm pretty sure they'll put an end to it in a way of their own if Theory... Oh! Taking a right to him. No waiting. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Overhead. And here's a cover. And he's saved by the ropes. And now he's looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Can you believe this? I love it. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Thrown back in under the ropes. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Right to the gut. The cockiness of Theory on... Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Punch right in the head. What the... You gotta be careful not to get yourself disqualified after that. That was gross. gonna hurt. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kick out. What do you have to do to put this guy away? To the sky. Theory expected that. From the ground up. So powerful. German suplex. Hooked up. DDT. Theory looking for a win in the now with a town down. Can Theory close this? And now Austin is thriving off the audience. Yeah. 
Austin Theory hoisting him up. Brainbuster across the knee. And Theory is showing us what he can do here. No wasted motion on that. Super kick by Theory. For Ataxia. Can Theory put it away here? That's got to be it. Two. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. I can only imagine how a big win like this is going to add to the ego of Austin Theory. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. And their opponents are accompanied by Michi at a combined weight. Of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world. Marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. That's the bell, and the OC is here, set for action. There are really no egos in the OC, guys. They love to fight and then have a good time outside the ring. That's what happens when you spend as much time making money and making talents as these dudes have, Cole. All that matters after that is the company you keep, and the OC knows that all too well. A very tight-knit crew. You have to admire that. But across the ring is no ordinary faction. This is the bloodline. One of, if not the most dominant groups in WWE's history. If they want something, they're taking it. Hate to say it, but I agree. Time and time again, the bloodline has destroyed the opposition and proven that they are the top dogs around here. They are cruel, they are merciless, and they will not be easily stopped. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Gallo's aggression seemed to be quelled by that attack. Yeah, that ruthless side of Jimmy just absolutely took over there. 
Draped across the top rope. Club. This could be it. Cover. No, he kicks out. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Here comes the double team. What are they going to do here? Boom. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Kick lands. He is looking to do some serious harm. Again, a tag is made. Here comes the double team. What do they have planned here? Oh, goodness. Make a wish. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. And a well-executed move we just saw there. That's using your head. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. And Carl must have been thinking more about his check than this match during that one. Luke retaliates. Clean tag for his partner. <laughs> Spinning sidewalk slam with authority. Whoever's playing here can't be good. He decides. Jeez. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Tossing them aside. <laughs> he is looking to do some serious harm. Here's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Way to break down your opponent. Oh, strong impact. Can he score the pin? Stops the ref count before two. Could be in search of a second win now. Pulls their opponent in. Belly to belly. They are fading off the WWE fans. Now pinning the arm down and delivering now. Stops. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Agonizing. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Jimmy gets intercepted. is getting the crowd going. Oh, oh my God. This match is brutality starting to show up. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Tag made. Tag made. Well, good. The official saw that happen. For an object used.
The New Day, the power of positivity has taken over my hips, my heart, and my entire soul. Come on, guys. Clap with me. Sit Dude, down, Saxton. I will not stop, Corey. Dead rocks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E! Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won Money in the Bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. And Corey, all of that success is a testament to the power of positivity. <laughs> Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight will hand out a beat down to anybody, any night of the week. It doesn't matter to him. Oh, I certainly hope this gentleman brought his heavy artillery tonight. Otherwise, Big E is going to beat his ass. Or Derrier. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of L.A. Knight. This guy believes he's a certified mega... Cover! Cover! Gets the shoulder up after one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Push! Yeah. And L.A. Knight lets more than his opponent. Strong kick. My goodness. their opponent clubbing blows jarring impact look at this just what a barrage of stops each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow right to the face my god crafty way to get out of harm there thunderous power slam I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Caught in a bad position here. Ooh, that's a shot to the throat. He's been placed in the corner now. In full control here, face first in the turnbuckle. Counters. Shoulder tackle. Big E firing up. Saving us from having to sit through that. LA Knight just oozing confidence tonight. You gotta think it's tough to compete with Bravado like that. Yes and no. Knight yeah. thinks he's got this one, but that could be an asset. He could be looking past his opponent tonight, which leaves an opening for him to be caught flat-footed. It's up to his opponent to capitalize on that. All the momentum is swung tonight. Knight has his opponent figured out. Oh! He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. God. Set by the front leg sweep. Nicely done. Yeah. And rolling in a challenge from L.A. Knight. And he saw that coming from Knight. Big E managing to get 
some control back now. Biggie got tired of being pushed around. Wants to gain the advantage now. LA Knight got shown up that time with a stick attack. Yeah, and that powerhouse nature of Big E's coming out. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. He's got the answer for that one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. This is a frightening sight for Biggies. Uh oh! Great defense by Knight. He's struggling a bit here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Dominating shoulder tackle. the top now. Neck breaker. Ouch. Shoulders down. This could be it. And he breaks the count quickly. Still no end in sight here. Some power behind that punch. Haymaker connects. Big overhand. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Sidewalk slam delivered. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. of this matchup. Oh my, sent flying. Stiff kick. He's in a bad way, guys. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Knight in a state of distress. And LA Knight indeed getting caught flat-footed. Big E! The big ending! The big E! Will that clinch things for Big E? of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And there's no smile on Biggie. Taking flight. Body splash. Biggie on the move. Biggie showing off that impressive powerhouse status there. The powerhouse of the new day has his opponent up with the big ending. Hazardous situation for LA Knight. Tonight. L.A. Knight's claim to in-ring supremacy just came up short. L.A. Knight was not able to get fired up here, and it results in a loss.
Uh, ready for this tag team matchup here tonight. Should be a good one. And confidently making their way to the round. Oh, and from behind, oh, a sneak attack. Well, we oh. knew the tag team division was heating up. I didn't realize it had boiled over. Yeah, you can't just jump the, the tag team like this. They're scheduled for a match. Well, they can't, but they just did, Saxton. And now these two marching down to the ring. What are they? Are they going to replace this team or something? It appears to be exactly what their intent is. No, there's no way. that The official cannot allow this to happen. Well, these two teams have wanted to get their hands on each other for quite some time. And it appears the moment has arrived. We're not... We're going to get the match we thought we were going to get, but we're going to get a match. I'm still wondering what kind of condition the team that got attacked is in. Finally, these superstars have made it to the ring after a vicious surprise attack while entering. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring. Or it was a calculated plan to get the advantage. Well, I guess we'll just never know. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down. She's going for the cover. Not much behind that pin attempt. She's not wasting any time. Going after an early pinfall. Yeah. Bottom upper cut. That'll cost some teeth. What grace. Float over to the DDT. <laughs> Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, man, by the hair. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what? Just dropped her like she was nothing. Ah. Uh. Just cranking the head. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? On the apron. The hardest part of the ring. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. Look at this. Snap suplex. She's lucky. Tag is good. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Tilt the whirl into the arm drag. Second. Left arm trap wiggles free. Nicely done. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Oh, quite an effective counter. That's gonna hurt. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. She steers clear of that one. Tensions remain high as this rivalry goes on. Talking about an understatement, of course. Tensions aren't just high. Guards are up. Battle lines are drawn. This isn't just affecting these competitors. The rest of the locker room has found themselves seemingly in the middle of this. Everyone has to choose a side, gentlemen. Can I choose a side to put an end to all of this? Absolutely not. Vicious knee drop. Now 
Tagging her in. Cross body. Oh, someone called the dentist. Looking bad for her here. Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. some lasting damage to the body. Boom! Oh, package drive. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. She throws her back in. And now thrown back into the ring. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. Tag is made, and here we go. Nice Japanese arm drag. Oh, my gosh. Trap the arm. So smooth. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Whoa. Down for a European arm breaker. Three. What a wrist clutch suplex. She sent back in under the ropes. Reaches her partner. Just in time. Close line. And Niven is shot. Got the arm. Disarmer. It's got to be. No, no, no. Teammate in to save the match. Not over yet. have turned in this match tonight. You can't deny that was a hard-fought and well-deserved victory, though. Absolutely. Bouncing back like that is tremendous. Being able to adapt to the situation earlier is definitely what helped secure the win here. Veer has arrived! And believe me, the WWE roster has plenty to fear. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing Indus Sheer from Uttar Pradesh, India. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Veer Veer has arrived, and there is nothing to fear but Veer himself. All jokes aside, Veer really is a frightening sight. Six foot eight, 300 pounds. Here comes Sangha. And his partner, representing Indus Sheer from India, weighing in at 297 pounds, Sangha! At one point in time, Sangha served as the enforcer for one Grayson Waller. Yeah, backing up Waller's loud mouth is a full-time job, but now Sangha is fully focused on his own success. You better be careful, Saxton. I hear Waller still has Sangha on a retainer. Sangha about to get to work. It might not be pretty, but it will be destructive.
Well, tonight has become awesome. You could say that again. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the Miz! Think for a moment about all the great adversity Miz has had to overcome in his career. He has been stalked by maniacs. He's had his manhood question, and he is constantly put in harm's way. Uh, well, I have no sympathy for the Miz. It's about time he gets humbled. Shouldn't be humbled, he should be celebrated as a man, as a competitor, and beloved by all. The WWE Universe just exploded! And from Fort Worth, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Sun Zero. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? You can't argue their credentials, but don't overlook the team they're squaring off against. They've done their homework. They're coming into this fight as prepared as you can be. And that can be a difference maker, Corey. You can be a great team, but if your opponent has you scouted, you can become very vulnerable. Is feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Nice takedown. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Tapped off with a big one. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Taking flight. You gotta be kidding me. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Double leg drop. You know, whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Veer there. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. A oh, snap there. Fought up by the elbow. And now gets tossed into the ring. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Yes, tag. Oh, my God. A DDT. Spike them. out the window and it paid off adrenaline is through the roof now oh that's through up and over Salida del Sol. guys truly i need to know when will enough be enough when is this going to end they truly want to rip each other apart I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. There's no happy ending to this rivalry. There is no saving grace. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Yeah, and this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. And he gets the tag. Caught with a neck breaker. Oh, what a club. 
Hooked up. Hooked up. Ah, oh, shit breaker. There's a tag. This team working like a well-oiled machine. Oh, man, targeting the gut. The communication between these two is evident by that move. And oh, my, my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. Here's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. Hurricanrana. He is just reeling from that offense. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Able to get there in time. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Now oh, into a power bomb. And this might not have a pleasant ending. He has to dominate your opponent. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. This has just been an absolute massacre. choice. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. Please sit down, Byron. Please I can't help sit down. It. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 
417 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much, but also they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are all so lucky to see them here tonight. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. I've been fortunate enough to call many of the wars these two men have fought side by side and against each other. They are a fun team to watch. Two men who have been the heart and soul of NXT. They brought that same passion to the main roster and have quickly become a top team in the WWE. Now we're about to see that passion on display. Representatives of the New Day out here for this match. New Day loves to have fun, but guys, this is a tag team that could easily be considered one of the greatest of all time. Especially when they get rolling in the ring. New Day loves to pick up the pace, get the action going, and get the crowd pumping. Absolutely, Byron. And you can bet they'll try to do that here in this one. But they have a tall task ahead of them. Two men who will never stop fighting. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. In more ways than one, Corey. If they can keep from fighting each other, they'll be unstoppable together. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Into the corner. This can't be good. Xavier Woods turned into some mind games here. Tag made. Tag made. Russian leg sweep. Oh, that got turned around on Woods. Oh, now he can pin his opponent right here. He's able to kick out before two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Right in the breadbasket. The better part of Valor. Ooh. Oh. Watch the quickness on this. Slap suplex. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. This is insecurity. No, oh, right in the mat. Face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Okay, already, we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. And Kofi knows it is game time right now. Oh. 
Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh, my God, a DDT! Spiked them. Flapjack! Face first. Bang! Drop kick. Here he comes off the tag. or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Got the tag. Got the tag. The Dude Buster. Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Not yet. Gargano clearly feeling like he's got the advantage here. Some innovation on its way from Johnny Wrestling. Whoa! Slingshot DDT from the apron. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. Jumping clothesline. Oof. He's in a little bit of trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Cover. Is it enough? Shoulder shoots up before two. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. from Kofi. You cannot deny Kofi Kingston right now. We are this far into the match. Wait, 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 wait! Strong kick out late into the match. How did he do that? Able to reverse that one! Going right after the neck! Neck breaker! He went right into that turnbuckle. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Through. Ouch. Uh oh, rolling kick by Gargano. Xavier Woods in with the tag. One. Oh, the DDT! He skirts away, living to fight another day. I am afraid of what we are about to see! Gargano propels himself into the DDT off the apron. And with an enziguri, crashing to the floor. Big impact off the neckbreaker. Ooh, sharp elbow. 
And it's going to be hard for Woods to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Johnny Gargano's decision making certainly looked effective there. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Gargano setting him up. Oh, locked up to the turnbuckle. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. And he fights it off. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Tag is registered. Big forearm. Chopper with a well-timed shot. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Stops the kick. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Stand. This could be it. Small package driver. Will Xavier put it away here? So does that. And he stops the count for his partner. Oh, belly stop. Oh. And this has been one of the most grueling matches we've ever witnessed. This had all the makings of a legendary fight, and it's delivered. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Uh-oh. And he slides him back to the mat. to the floor. Gets the tag. Great wherewithal from Ciampa. Johnny Wrestling played to the crowd a little bit here. And that move looked to throw Ciampa off his game. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Pow! Brought back into the ring from the floor now. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next.
The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Guys, Shin is it expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style. He's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds. You know, this person takes some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. A competitor who always has his game face on, ready for a major battle. Fun and games clearly not on his mind here tonight. He's got one focus in this matchup here, and that's to secure the win at any cost. And ready for him across the ring, we have Shinsuke Nakamura, who has made his foundation by traveling the globe and taking on any opponent who dares step in the ring with him. Absolutely, Corey. Fear is not an emotion we've seen from Shin. He faces every opponent with the same level of determination that has made him so widely known. I don't think he's approaching this match with anything less tonight. Somersault plancha to the floor. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Great reversal. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Heads out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Boom. And now Shinsuke is playing to the crowd. Arm ringer applied. And look out! Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. Shinsuke Nakamura is one of the hardest hitting superstars in the world. We've seen his strikes lay out even the toughest competitors. That's the sleeper. In and the rope forces the play. Great effort, though. In the forearm smash. Look at this. Clutching the wrist. Oh, my God. Torturing their opponent. Just mangling the opposition. Oh, ow. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. Oh, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. This could do it. Shoulder up 
and the referee ends the count. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Nakamura might need to find a reprieve. Like I mentioned earlier, staying out of Nakamura's path has provided an opening and neutralized the King of Strong Style. And a kick to the back. Bam! Discus knee strike. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top! Kick connects from the top. Can he do it here? Only a one count before the kick out. I didn't think this match was close to over. Ow! Bam! Oof, ouch! No oh, square shot in the back elbows ends that. German suplex! Oh, that's just insulting. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, Shinsuke showed a solid game plan there. This is that one-of-a-kind energy of Shinsuke. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. And it's reverse paid for that mistake. is he willing to endure in this match? And you have to wonder if Nakamura can pull off one more big hit to finally get the win. Cover! Two! Finally, it's over! Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura! And Shinsuke Nakamura walks away with the W. Nakamura proving he can accomplish anything he puts his mind to. The monster of all monsters has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina. Weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman! Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. Expect the worst because the monster is about to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. Sami Zayn is here, and he is all fired up. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in. 12 pounds, Sammy Zayn! There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sammy Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. They call Braun Strowman the monster of all monsters. Just look at him. It's easy to see why. Yeah, it doesn't matter how big or strong you are, Strowman will manhandle you one way or another. 
just unrelenting, unmatched power. Strowman surely hoping that power is all he'll need here in this one. And he's facing off against an opponent as persistent as they come in Sami Zayn. The amount of heart in Sami Zayn is second to none. Combine that with hard-hitting strikes and unrelenting stamina, it's a tough night at the office when your name is next to Sami's on the match card. Crank in the head. That hit connects from Sami Zayn. And a kidney. Golly. Taking off from that could be it. He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pen. I have to say, Braun Strowman is fast for his size. But if you're unfortunate enough to be facing him, you can still use your speed against him. Try to outpace Braun and tire him out if you can. Sounds like speed could be the key to getting the better of Strowman. A continuous attack on Strowman. And look at him go. Outpacing Strowman here. Trying to tire out the monster among monsters. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh. Look at this. Blue Thunderbomb. Zayn finding that energetic offense. Big forearm. That unraveled on Zayn. And that might be the start of the momentum swing Braun needed. The U-turn Braun needed in this match could have been that right there. Down in the mid part. Drama just such a monstrous sight to behold. He eludes the contact. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Goes under the ropes to get back inside. What a four! Stop dead in their tracks. Not finished yet. Just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. Braun Strowman hoisting him up. Oh, hellacious power slam. Will it pay off for Braun Strowman? Oh man, watch this. Freaking power. Reverse choke slam. And that's Strowman taking over. Now we're seeing some rare flaws in Sami Zayn's game plan. Here comes Sami. Firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time. Whoa. This is it. Victory. The monster of all monsters wasn't monstrous enough in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Multiple tag titles 
a Money in the Bank winner, a women's championship reign. There is a definite method to the madness of Nikki. Guys, did you know that Nikki has a master's degree in history? Wait, wait, what? That is mind-blowing. Since Nikki looks like she can't remember what happened five minutes ago, much less 500 years ago. And from Fort Worth, Texas, the WWE Women's World Champion, Nicole! Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills, this is why I do what I do. The champ has said she wants to make a statement with tonight's match, and the entire division needs to take note. We'll start with Nikki Cross, who really seems to have gone back to her roots as of late. I give her credit, Cole. She tried the superhero thing for a while. Thought she could contain the... Will this be enough? Raises the shoulder before the one count. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Yikes. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. Russian leg sweep. Perfect kick. Boom, DDT. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Sent into the corner. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Systematic attack on that arm. Uncorked a big punch. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Nagy Cross is obviously a talented superstar, but one in particular could give her the advantage here tonight. It's Nikki's in-ring ferocity, Cole. Fewer as tenacious as Nikki Cross. She never knows when to back down or call it quits. That can make her a very difficult opponent. What brute? Can she do it here? Kick out by Nikki. Just looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Look at her taking in all the energy from the crowd. Ooh, man. And up the turnbuckles we go. From the top, through the air, and connects. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. She's staying elusive. <laughs> Nikki Cross just going her opponent. That's press and ouch. Added damage. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Yeah. A panel suplex. She covers for the pin. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner. Nikki Cross suffers defeat. I'm not 100% sure Nikki is aware she came out on the losing end of this match. Whether Nikki knows it or not, she lost the match.
No, oh, this is ridiculous. From behind, I'll beat the hell out of them. You had to know this was coming. These two cannot stand each other. There's always a time and place for everything. This superstar is out of line. Thank goodness for some extra security to separate these two, but the damage has been done, let's be honest. Get them out of here. Get them out of here now. They knew what they were doing. I don't even think this opponent can get into this match. Not at all. I mean, this competitor just got ambushed. This isn't right. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Has it hooked in? Inverted suplex. And gets tossed back into the mat. And he goes for the pin. Kick out before the one count. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. What a shot. Cody retaliates. Bad predicament right here. Piercing the throat. This could do it. He forces a break before the count of two. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Big forearm. Picking the leg. Are we going to see it? There it is. Figure four leg lock. Uh, trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Drop toe hold. That's one way to bring your opponent to their feet. A nasty shot to follow. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Power slam. Good night. He's looking a little off balance. Cody taking no opportunity for granted. Suplex! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. This might be one of the greatest rivalries the WWE Universe has ever witnessed. This has progressed far beyond any... Cody... For crossroads! Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. For the win! There's two! What a match, and we've got company... I'll let the mind games begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two, or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Uh, Training blows back and forth. Oh, stage it finally. We've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. Oh, the cops keep these two apart.
Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing The Judgment Day. From Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Now they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Up. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Does this woman have the answer for Ripley's trademark toughness, do you believe? Cole, I don't know if there's anybody in WWE or beyond who can match raw power with the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. I'd wager Rhea Ripley comes into this match with nothing but bad intentions. She's a superstar who seems to enjoy tormenting her opponents as much as possible. There's nothing wrong with taking pleasure in your own handiwork. Inflicting agony just happens to be something Rhea has a natural talent for. Who are we to question what brings her joy? That's one way to look at it, but I doubt her opponents see it the same way. They see Ripley as nothing but a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, but she's standing across the way from someone who redefines the word intensity. This isn't just a competition to her. This is a must-win situation, and she won't even consider any other outcome. That's not exactly the type of person you want to get on the wrong side of, which she is. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. No! Slingshot sent on, yes! Pinpoint precision right on target. Ripley uncorking a clothesline and another ripcord position. Ripcord drop kick. And Rhea is revving this crowd up. Oh! The fatigue is setting in for her. An eruption of offense from Ripley. We know Rhea Ripley possesses an immense amount of power. Corey, is that enough for her to take home the win here tonight? A superstar like Rhea Ripley isn't at their peak because of one attribute. And frankly, you should know that, Cole. Rhea Ripley is successful because she has tremendous ring IQ and dominating presence. That's something that takes years for people to learn. Great counter! A vicious stomp, and this superstar just reminding everyone how vicious they can truly be. Hammerlock applied. And this superstar is just imposing their will on their opponent. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Boom, right across. Can she do it here? And she breaks free before a one count. She is still very much in this. Rhea Ripley has her opponent up for the electric chair. And oh! Devastating face bump. Shoulders down! Kick out. She still has life. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. 
firm control. Unloads with the boot. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. And an elbow. Now a series of vicious stops in the turnbuckle. Stumps. Constant pressure being put on by Ripley. And that wasn't just power, Cole. The ring IQ of Rhea Ripley helped her gain that advantage there. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Oof, kick right to the gut. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. There's return fire on Rhea. She is still in this fight. Springboard misses the target. <laughs> Setting it up. Boom. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. It up. Boom! Feast your eyes. Bad spot for Ripley. Cover. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. Ripley gets out of that predicament, but you wonder how much effort that took out of her. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't get a pinfall. Position. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Watch out. Somersault plancha. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Curling your own body like that is insane. Oh, knee to face. She avoids the contact. Count out imminent. She needs to get back in. Ripley is down, and she might be out. And look at this. Will the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Unbelievable. That's her opponent's move. And a big victory here tonight. Here is your winner, B. A shocking loss for Rhea Ripley. And Rhea has to be fuming after a loss like that. Yeah, that is a major setback to the Eradicator's dominance. Here comes main event, Jey Uso.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! You look at what Jay Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief. Went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jay will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. All right, I love this guy. And his opponent from out of this world. This match was announced the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. With Jey Uso, you have to remember, we're looking at a tag team specialist who's really made a name for himself as a singles competitor as of late. Defying his family's wishes, carving out a path for himself as just Jay. He has truly been a delight to watch grow as a competitor these days. But across the way is a man who's rededicated his focus. Someone who's been spending extra time training and scouting for his competition. He's turning the tables! Oh, oh and a knee! And another! Precision strikes! You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, kick right to the back. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Hit the counter. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Connecting with a sharp elbow. This match grinded him down a little. Jay doing whatever it takes there to protect his seat at the table. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Check your face out. He can do it here. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Stomach. Kick to the body. Attack to the midsection. He heads outside. Countouts legal in this match. Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Kick to the abdomen and going down low. Nasty uppercut. An impressive sequence from Jay. Yeah, Oos is firing on all cylinders. Got them right in the corner. And Byron, Byron looks here. Look. Are you surprised, Byron? Well, it is no disqualification, but this is going to be an uphill battle for this superstar. Rapid fires. Shoulders down. This could be it. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. Don't know how he can't get more than a one count at this point. McIntyre manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. Punishing their opponent. Blowing blows. Was mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. 
Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Stomping. Ouch. He wants even more out of his opponent. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. And into the count. Two. And he powers out. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Samoan drop. Strikes with a kick. Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Drop down with a neck breaker. There have been some and shoulders are down. Two gets the shoulder up. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Jay with an opening to go high. Uso. Jay can seal it here. The cover! And Jay Uso got him and picks up the win. Here is your winner. Main event, Jay Uso! Once that attack happened earlier, I think we knew the way this match was heading. Here we see the seemingly inevitable outcome. I bet their opponent learned a thing or two in this one about watching their back. I bet they did. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov! There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. This superstar has a tall order in Carmelo Hayes tonight. Melo's proven to be a very adaptable opponent, so this guy needs to be on his toes. Mello has arrived. His opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Time for Mello to make that money. You know, I kind of like that 
Ilya Dragunov goes at every opponent with full intensity. You can even see it as a sign of respect. He takes every match just as seriously as the last. He never phones it in. That's a good point, Byron. No matter the challenge, Dragunov always has the same hard-headed mentality to win. And lining him up from across the ring is Carmelo Hayes, one of the most dazzling superstars on the roster today. While Melo is money, sometimes his mouth writes checks he can't catch. If Hayes was more focused on proving himself in the ring rather than on the mic, he might be unstoppable. Boom! What a right! Gosh! Draped upside down in a tree of woe. And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes' caliber, you have to think you're at a huge physical disadvantage. No argument there, but athleticism doesn't equal knowledge. Hayes is still a rising star in this business. Force him into unfamiliar territory, and you can catch him slipping. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Sleeper hold, cinch, and the ropes force the break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Big strike across the back. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Up and over. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. To the outside. This could get wild. Carmelo Hayes firing up. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Oh, the old schoolboy! Oh, wait a minute. Well delivered suplex. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Carmelo is losing his grasp of this match now. Hayes seemingly caught slipping. Definitely in unfamiliar territory right now. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Up high. Oh, wait a second. One in the and an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Ooh. Moved at the Carpino Mike. Dragon out to taste victory now. Is it enough? The cover! There's two! And Dragon out did it. What a win. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragonov. Ilya Dragonov comes up with the win. Hayes just wasn't able to get the win tonight but not for a lack of trying. These two have waited so long for this moment, for this matchup, and oh, come on. On. This is not the way this was supposed to go down. The official, the official just called for the bell. A cheap shot. That was just a, a typical coward right there. Yeah, these two don't care about winning anymore. It's just about destroying each other. This is a no disqualification match. Anything someone can dream up to do to their opponent is legal. Take the rules and throw them out the window. Well, this allows a superstar to pursue victory by any means necessary. And some experience a state of twisted ecstasy while punishing their adversary. We are witnessing an environment where competitors can embrace their anger and aggressive instincts. From the top, what? The one-two punch of high risk, high reward. Oh, look at this. Creativity applied with the wrist clutch lever and painful as well. A death lock is in. 
Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. This one could be over. Toss back into the ring. A warning and a challenge from Gulak. Up with a lariat. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. And well-timed maneuver there. Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Oh, face stop. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes the... From the top! A reversal from Braun. Dominating shoulder tackle. Baker making clear. He, maybe that will shut him up. Power bomb position. But right hands create separation and an escape. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Crash landing powerbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Producing a trampling. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. His match is, of course, just another entry into what has developed into a feud of historic proportions. Few superstars have ever loathed each other like these competitors do. It goes beyond competition, beyond normal emotions. And the resulting matches have always been utterly spectacular to watch. Well, this isn't going to win the fall. There's no escape, but maybe there is. Wow. How impressive is that? Belly to belly suplex. Taking this match off the mat now. Here we go. All the way to the outside. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. He's got him scouted. Spot down. They're playing ways. Battling in this area could end in serious harm. And he tosses him back in now. Clearly targeting the shoulder. That shot on Gulak did not miss. That was just a small sample of breaker inherited ability. Oh, what a shot. Whipped in the hard way. A well placed kick. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Well, this won't win. Oh, he's able to find enough grip to. And Drew Gulak is your winner. Hold on tight, everybody. It's time for some big Duke energy. Duke Hudson earned some major success in NXT and wants to expand his horizons. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Chase U from Adelaide, South Australia, weighing in at 253 pounds. Duke!
Duke Hudson is such an inspiration. His fellow students know to work hard, fight for their dreams, and always go above and beyond. There's a reason why that MVP trophy is made of solid gold. Duke's the real deal. We're looking at a big brawler with ridiculous power and deceptive agility. Duke's got his lesson plan in hand and is ready to start handing out grades. Look, I'm the first to say an education's important, but Hudson needs to focus on taking care of business and less about running for class president. The lethal Lothario, Umberto. A high-flying heartbreaker. And his opponent from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 198 pounds, Humberto. Humberto's always had this desire to win, but now he's got this ruthlessness that many believe will help him succeed. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving it in a matter of moments. The WWE star pupil, Duke Hudson, looking to cement his place on the Dean's list here tonight. Academics aside, you have to be impressed by Hudson's size and athletic ability. We've seen how dominant he can be when he utilizes his strength and agility. Yeah, and it's only a matter of time until he unlocks that full potential in the ring. Standing across the ring is a very game Umberto. You always have to fear someone with nothing to lose because they're capable of anything. Umberto is ready. You can never safely count out Umberto. If he can stand, he can fight. And if he channels that mean streak, he's going to be tough to beat. Oh, a spinning side slam! Point of the elbow finds the mark. And now Duke is playing the... Oh! Attacking Umberto. Dominating shoulder tackle. How do you contend with a flashly and acrobatic superstar like Umberto? Do you focus on grounding him? Yeah, that's exactly right. Attack Umberto's legs and keep him away from the ropes. If he can't get airborne or build up speed, Umberto becomes a much less lethal competitor. He's positioning himself, closing in. From the top, double axe handle connects. He's got him down. Is this it? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? I think this match still has a ways to go. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. No. <laughs> Hudson now with a clear upper hand. Keeping Umberto away from the ropes with these attacks. Looking to prevent him from building up speed. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyperextend your elbow. So much damage inflicted. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Just cranking the head. Humberto flashes those pearly whites, and the crowd tells him what they think. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Oh, the springboard roundhouse. Kick to the midsection. Setting them up. Canadian destroyer. This incredibly hostile rod goes into the pin. Two. And he kicks out at two. The end was in sight. Umberto delivers the snapmare to his opponent, positioning him for something more. Look at the balance on the springboard moonsault. Can Umberto put things away here? Cover! And Umberto wins in impressive fashion. Here is your winner, Umberto! And the win here tonight goes to Umberto. It looks like Duke Hudson may need to hit the books after this loss.
Here comes the Tower of Power, Dijak. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak. Dijak's a monster. A mercenary, ready to decimate any competitor. I wouldn't limit Dijak's destruction to who's in front of him. He's out here taking people out from all angles. Now, Dijak's throwing bullseyes on anybody he chooses. I personally hope the next target's on you, Saxton. Underneath the scowling face and immense stature, Dijak has an incredible intellect. It's also what makes him so dangerous. The anger that fuels him is compounded by his in-ring IQ. Now, uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 100. And 83 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Wes Lee. Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the six foot seven, 270 pound tower of power known as Dijak. Take notice of a man with intense discipline and even more intense physicality. Yes, Dijak is certainly impressive. There's no telling how Dijak is going to obtain a victory in this one, but we know that's what he's come here for. Get ready for an eyeful. And then there is Wes Lee, a superstar who you just can't help but root for. Big moves, even bigger heart. Wesley is a true superstar, and he's willing to prove just why in this matchup. Flying forearm connects. Oh! Isolating the foot with a DDT. Oh. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam. some power behind that punch. Corey, it's hard to know just what Wesley is going to throw at you. At times, it seems like he invents new moves mid-match. How is his opponent going to deal with that uncertainty? Wesley does have a big playbook, but most of those pages cover aerial attacks. If you can keep him grounded, he'll start to lose his advantage. Satellite DDT! Carefully measured knee drop. No, no, no. Suicide dive to the outside. Cole does it better. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Devastating elbow. And Dijak getting some pushback there. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Back straight into the post on the outside. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Oh man, he is fired up now. 
Cutting off the count in the nick of time. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Here he goes for the win. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Jai Jack is weighing a bit right now. West continues on the assault, keeping things at his pace. Big time power. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Surprised the rope didn't collapse. All the way up. And the big time power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. Oh, and will this be it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. What a hurricane Rana. It's incredible the inventiveness we have. Houston, I think we have a problem. I believe you are right. Wow! And throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Awesome. Ah, look at this. Heartbreaker! And Lee telling the crowd to watch him. Oh, strong knee connects. Carefully measured knee drop. Trying their opponent's arm out. Ah, oh, double stop right to the arm. And gets tossed back into the mat. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. Oh, down on the opponent. And Wes is really dialed in right now. Dijak breaking down a bit. Getting him into the... Irish whip out of the turnbuckle, reversed. Walking the rope, spectacular athleticism. And the clothesline on the money. Wes Lee setting up in the corner, sizing up his opponent. What are we going to see here? Front flip DDT. celebrating this victory on top of the world. Guy Jack thought he had this one locked up, but as it goes, the bigger they are, the more dangerous they get. Well, guys, this ring's about to turn into a bar room. Here comes Brooks Jensen. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Ranburn, Alabama. Weighing in at 243 pounds, Brooks Jensen. There's certainly a dive bar atmosphere with Brooks Jensen in action. And it's going to get worse for his opponent before it gets better. 
Crushing cans and cracking skulls. Jensen's all party in the back and all business in the ring. A good old-fashioned country boy making his mama proud in WWE. And here comes one of our favorites. And his opponents, first from Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. He has a big match ahead of him. Going to need a career-making performance here tonight. The Big Bad Wolf is on the hunt. Wolfgang stays in a perpetual state of reckless abandon. This is going to break down fast. And we're presenting Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 255 pounds. Wolfgang! Singles, tag team, traditional match, a stipulation. It doesn't matter to Wolfgang. The more fists that are flying, the better. If Wolfgang had his way, the ring area would be turned upside down and in shambles. And then he'd start throwing people around. Wolfgang's just a different breed of animal. We won't see any catch-as-catch-can moves or high-risk theatrics. Just brutality unleashed. Corey, it's this simple. Wolfgang smells blood and goes on a rampage. Now this is going to be fun. And from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. Trick Williams, absolutely not the type to stand for any disrespect has a swagger that tends to rub some the wrong way, but he doesn't care in the slightest. Trick has proven to be ride or die, but he's not planning to sit in the background forever. Williams has the tools to be a top star in WWE. He just needs to put them all together. With the bell, we're kicking off this fatal four-way. This is a grueling match. No disqualification and only one winner. Not only do you have to worry about getting a win, you have to make sure no one else beats you to it. Close fist connects. Boom, running STO plants. Nicely done. Now look at the knees. Endless knee strikes. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Both wrists captured. And... Oh. My, oh my, what elevation. There's no way to exaggerate what a brain buster like that can do to you. And I feel like these superstars have kind of settled into a rhythm somewhat at this point. Early jitters out of the way, you have the lay of the land, but the key is not to get too comfortable. Fatal four have a lot of variables, and things can change on a dime. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can cut back from this many. And now gets tossed into the ring. Big kick. Uh-oh. 
Oof. Back elbow puts a stop to things. Suplex here into a counter. Nicely done. Oh, my goodness. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. No respect being shown. Taking front. Diving body splash. Quickly to cover. Just after two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Oh, yeah. Let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. What a shot! An arms trap. One after the other. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Vicious right forearm. For a good Watch. measure. The fight being brought right into it. He goes for the pin! And he stops the count. Something here. Oh, right to the throat. Cut it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. <laughs> Arm trapped. Planning on what to do next. Rick Williams off the ropes. Nice neck breaker. Williams might just have it. That's gotta be it. There's two. Got him, and he wins the fatal four-way. Here is your winner, Trick Williams. After a memorable fatal four-way, here is our winner. That might have been one of the most entertaining fatal four-ways we've ever seen. Taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight. You can believe that's what we're about to get. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. And if you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. His past destroyed. Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. The UK Dynamo has arrived. And his opponent 
from Jersey, the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, the NXT Champion, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier, a stand out of NXT UK, one of the most entertaining competitors in the history of that brand. And he's brought that same energy to the U.S. and the entire WWE Universe. Is about to see it right about now. Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. And there's definitely a new spark in Baron Corbin these days. It seems he's rekindled something that might have... Makes the cover! And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Boom! Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. There he goes, right into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Clothesline. Corbin is looking to humiliate his opponent. Wait, 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 wait. Kick out before the ribs count. Able to get that shoulder up so quickly. What a statement. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Boom. Good night. For all his heart, it looks like Frazier may have hit his limit. Corbin causing damage, causing harm. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Vicious right forearm. Going up against Corbin requires sound strength. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Boom! Slam! With authority. Nathan keeps getting cut down. Great wherewithal on the counter. And a big boost. Oh, oh, man. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. And he stonewalls Corbin. Now, that'll do some serious damage. And Tagiri finds its mark. Kick to the gut. Dragged around into a neck breaker. Into the corner now. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Play. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. No way. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Oh, my Lord! Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. Ooh! Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Uh oh. Nathan retaliates. And Nathan could be wasting time playing to the crowd. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Oh, 
solely focused on ooh, and now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Nathan is undergoing a thrashing. Baron is unloading attacks here. Oh, what a marijuana. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. One, two, three. A okay, consider that a harsh <laughs> lesson. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Five, eight, six. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, man, what right to the esophagus. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow. right hand hands a guy to the floor this match is brutality starting to show on him there's been plenty of action in this match and the cost of that is really showing now we're gonna finish it all look out below big time risk pays off the daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that oh that might have just broken something oh this this may end it right here, right oh, now. Tripping no! power driver spiked. Fearless display from Frazier. Oh, yeah, this kid's got the it factor. He returns to the ring. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Forearm! A striking blow. Big stomp in the corner, creating a lot of separation. And that definitely made solid impact. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, he got it. What a win. Here is your winner, Nathan Frazier. And what a win for Nathan Frazier. Corbett is no stranger to failure, but he can't feel good about this result. Check on the referee. I mean, it's blatantly obvious the superstar didn't do it intentionally, but the official's down, and now anything truly can happen. Yeah, there's no official out here to keep the order. Can we get some help for our official? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded tactics. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Yeah. And pulling the arms up and torturing their opponent. Ah. Uh. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Whoa. Look out! Suicide dive! Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. So unpredictable is Wendy Chu. How do you counter someone who seems to be making it up as she goes along? Get on her level. 
Don't let the cutesy PJs fool you. Choose nuts. You need to throw whatever sense of normalcy you had out the window and expect that this is going to be a very unusual match. Once you understand that, you can fight accordingly. Got their opponent set up. Oh, <laughs> drop kick to the back. And now she delivers her back into the ring. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Referee's count stop. She stays in this. Just barely cold. Finds a counter for two. A bear hug squeezing the breath out of it. And the bear hug trying to escape, trying to find a way out, and mission accomplished. Impressive reversal there. Great strength being shown here. Huge top cut. Shoulders are down. Strong kick out there. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Discus punch. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Oh, watch this display of power. She's enduring some damage. Top rope, putting it all on the rope. From the top. Whoa, look out. Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. Escape just in time. Down across the neck. Wendy is unable to stop any attack. Wendy Chu is finding her opponent to be just as unpredictable as she is. And now thrown back into the ring. A oh, one elbow high on the chin. Ooh, she had enough of that. She saw it coming. Slows line. And a second. This superstar building momentum. Sweeping the leg. Things are looking up. This match is wearing her down. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Full Nelson Slay. And that should do it right there. She kicks out the source. She just won't stay down. She's going up. Top rope here. Oh, uh, using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse. My goodness. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Digging deep for a kick out. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh my God, he's got him in. Oh, what a way to shatter an arm. Wendy is taking charge. Yeah, Wendy is carefully calculating every movement. She's showing it's not a time to lie down. It's a time to fight back. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it. Back body drop. Exclamation point. Spotted Buster. Here's the cover for the win. No, she kicks out. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Wow, that is some impressive strength. Dominator! You can tell she wants to put an end to this. This could be big. 
Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Into a chop block. Taken out with a big exploder. Close line. Right in the back of the neck. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. This match may be nearing its limit. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Unbelievable athleticism. Comes down across the head with the axe handle. Wendy is taking charge. Yeah, Chu's appearing unstoppable. Watch out. Take it here. For the win! Two! And Wendy Chu gets the W. Here is your winner, Wendy Chu! Well, you can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning. More like surviving. It could The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Fort Worth, Texas. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. One of the hardest working competitors in all of NXT. Oh. Representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville. Niles already proven to be an extremely hard worker and one of the grittiest competitors around. As tenacious and vicious as they come. Yeah, I mean, Niles' bite is much worse than her bark. Yeah, but her teeth are sharpened and she's looking for a win. This may be cliche, but Ivy now proves it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. Ivy Nile went through so many ups and downs early in her sports entertainment career, but she's on her own path now and doing things her way, redefining what it means to be a hybrid fighter with her speed, power, and MMA expertise. And if I had to use one word to describe Ivy Nile, it would be relentless. Facing her in the ring is a woman who's been salivating at this opportunity, a woman who's more dangerous now than she's ever been. Measuring out of face stop. Nasty stop to finish it off. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. <sighs> Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Spinning kick to the gut. Kick right to the leg. These two going strike for strike, it seems. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Neither competitor is backing down. 
What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Boom. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Great job anticipating Ivy. Oh, and she turns it around. Answer after answer for each of his offense here. She can end it here. She breaks the count quick. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh, I gotta tell you, I thought this superstar was out of this match, but apparently not. What a comeback. Able to avoid the interceptor. Kicks to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here relentlessly. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Both wrists captured and boom! Good night. What a knee. A uh, pump handle here. Could this be it? Bulldog. Niles on her last breath. Shoulders down. Man, that was a hard-fought win. She's got to be proud of herself tonight. Here is your winner. Ivy Niles suffering a loss here. This one was tough for Ivy Niles. She just couldn't overcome this fight. is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Tony D'Angelo. Tony D'Angelo is not playing games. This is a man who's been through it all. He survived the turf wars and paid the price to be the Don. Anyone in the ring tonight is going to learn a harsh lesson. You don't test the Don. Yeah, a win here tonight proves that Tony D'Angelo is truly a made man. Here comes a heavy hitter. Joe Coffey's here to hurt someone badly. A brawler who's paid his dues in battles across Europe and the United States, and he is thirsty that for is a more. Boat. Representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 248 pounds, Joe Coffey. Joe Coffey always seems to be in a foul mood. And when he's smiling, that means things are going to get worse. Someone could get theirs at any time. Just when you think you got Joe Coffey where you want him, he flips the script on you. Joe Coffey enters this match like every other with extreme confidence. WWE officials, security, opponents. When you look at what Coffey's done, it's clear he doesn't care who goes down. The streetwise, self-proclaimed Don, Tony D'Angelo, in action here tonight. Well, we know that Tony will do whatever it takes to make a statement and prove a point. He considers it all just business, but you have to admit, 
It's a dangerous type of business. Dangerous and legitimate, Byron. Don't forget that. Tony has proven he knows what he's doing in and out of the ring, so let's just see how dangerous he is here. And across the way is the perfect blend of brute force and technical precision that is Joe Coffey. Some might mistake him for just another brawler, but his exceptionally hard hits land with expert precision. There's nothing Coffey loves like a good scrap. It seems like he's always itching for a fight. You mess with Joe, and he'll take your head right off without any hesitation. Right in the face. My God. Bang! Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. He can do it here. Surprisingly quick kick out. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Slam. Here's the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. Spy Buster! We know Tony D'Angelo is a temper and is not afraid to unleash that on his opponents without remorse. Yeah, Cole, but we've seen how Tony D's quickness to anger can backfire on him. If you can stifle his offense for long enough, Tony's temper is going to boil over and he's bound to slip up. Crank in the head. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's absorbed some damage already. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. D'Angelo one step ahead. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Taking a trip outside, but he's gotta be mindful of the count. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Knee strike connects. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. D'Angelo showing no fear, no intimidation. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Big risk here, he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Not target in the arm. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Point of the elbow, nailed it. An unrelenting assault being brought to Joe Coffey. Joe's got to slow down this assault. Oh my gosh! Oh, an uppercut. It was very European. His shoulders are down, and that'll be a rope break right there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ooh. Oh, my! This could be big, going up high. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. 
Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! Ah, claw to the face. Ripping at the eyes. Duke Kobe getting ready. That could be curtains for Tony. I thought we saw this reach the boring point already. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. victory. Here is your winner, Joe Coffey. Joe Coffey with a hard-fought victory tonight. A man like Joe Coffey is never playing around, and we just saw that up close. I actually like this because the trash talking's already started. It is very clear these superstars do not like each other. Oh, we're not going to wait any longer. The match hasn't even started yet. And these superstars couldn't care less. This is personal. Well, the ref has got to take control of the situation. Can we please get this match started? Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this match is now officially underway. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there is no more holding back. Yikes. Oh, man. Rage with a schoolboy, not done yet. And lifted up as a power. What power from the tribal chief. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Oh, watch this display of power. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Roman is in the zone and letting the opposition know it. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? yeah. Shoulders down. One. Kick out at one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Ah, uh, the power of Roman Reigns. Roman being the aggressor. Reigns is picking up steam. Reigns is trying to pick his opponent apart physically and mentally. Well-placed punch, ugly, but effective response. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. I just have to say, people don't give Roman the credit he deserves for being a brilliant strategist. He knows how to get into his opponent's heads, both inside and outside the squared circle. And I'm certain he's going to prove that again here tonight. Some intimidating mind games from Roman Reigns could make all the difference here. Elbow puts an end to that. Needed a midsection. Bang to the neck. Ripcord. Oh my goodness. Nasty line. Into the pin attempt. And he breaks the count quickly. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Oh my gosh, what impact. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Able to avoid any harm there. Hard landing. He's able to snap time on the island of relevancy. Give up now. Swallow your... Whoa, whoa look at that. 
And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. Superman punch! I didn't think things had gotten this heated between them. Byron, this feels like it's close to going nuclear. Tick, tick, boom. Oh, the moonsault connects. Snapmare delivered by Reigns and a boot right to the face. Oh, the power! Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Watches into the air with a Superman punch. After that, it's easy to see why Reigns has been at his zenith. Coming back from Reigns after that. That's gotta be it. Two count. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. The unexpected attack earlier played in their favor, allowing them to lock up the win tonight. And I'm wondering if that attack earlier is going to have a lingering effect beyond just this match. That's entirely possible. Lasting damage might have been incurred there. An amazing young wrestler. Brutus Creed! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Brutus Creed! Brutus has been fighting his entire life and he shares the Creed mindset with his brother Julius. And that mindset is absolute domination. A true amateur standout, Julius Creed. And his partner, representing the Creed brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 200 and 30 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Julius Creed. Julius Creed, a hybrid fighter of different caliber. Julius can match power with larger opponents, stay in stride with quicker competitors, or go hold for hold with grapplers. Hey, Michael, <clears throat> it's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight, like ever, in your entire life. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. You've never been in a bar, either. And accompanied by the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, at a combined weight of 458 pounds, Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling Bruce. That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the brutes are. The brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger.
The Brawling Brutes ready and raring to go in this one. You just won't find a more physical, more smash-mouth team in WWE than the Brutes. Like you always say, Michael, it's always fight night when the Brutes are around. Whether it's themselves or the competition, someone's coming out of this match bruised and broken. And that's just how the Brutes like it. As for their opponents, we know how athletically gifted the Creeds are. How their in-ring acumen and technical skills are amazing. Julius and Brutus can also throw hands in a brawl and take everyone out. Oh, the Creeds are quite comfortable using their digits. Many believe that when we see Julius and Brutus compete, we're seeing the future of tag team wrestling. I can't dispute that. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh. That's a free fall. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Able to get there in time. Oh, spine buster. Driven down. And will this be it? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? Keeping a loss at bay for now. Here it comes. Nicely done. And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Creed taking a moment to see if the fans will show him some love. Oh, must be tackle. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Comes in off the tag. Oh! Counter by Bruce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this raw power. Go, Rich. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. The brutish Ridge Holland looking mean as ever. Yes, tag. Front face lock applied into an airplane spin. Look at this power. I feel so discombobulated after that. Can't imagine how it felt to actually be the one spinning around. Caught with the boot. He's taking some good hits. Butch offered no room for safety with that attack. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Deadlift back suplex. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. Thrown back in under the ropes. Easy. Oh my god! Reversal! Can he take advantage? Okay. Big boot! Jeez. Yeah. Power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much.
much force. Not getting the two at this point has got to say something. Tag made, fresh man in. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Muscled all the way up. Driven down face first. Terrible position for Creed. Ridge looking for a raucous fight night atmosphere as he turns his attention to the crowd. Play of strength with the suplex. He's in a little bit of trouble now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. That holds back Holland's attack. Quick thinking pays off. Got this deadlifting their opponent. Super human. Tag oh, tag made. Oh, and a kick. Right to the corner. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Cinched in. Body wrap. This could be over. He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. <laughs> double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock. Up. <laughs> belly to belly suplex. <laughs> Close line. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. A seesaw battle in front of us. These superstars have left a lot in the ring tonight. They gotta start wondering if they have anything left to give. Swinging neck breaker. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Look from Butch. A oh, bear hug squeezing the breath out of them. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Whoa, -oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. No, 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 no. Oh, DDT off the apron. <laughs> Brutus Creed turning up the intimidation factor. <laughs> and he gets delivered back into the ring. the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Takes their opponent down, now just teeing off a series of hammer fists raining down. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh my, launched into orbit. Ooh. This doesn't look good. Alley. Butch looking for it. There it is. The boom. Butch has all but ended this. Looking for the victory. Two. And they're still in this. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out?
cut. John. What a counter by Brutus. Butch. Oh, this is interesting. The yes, X-Plex. Is it enough? The cover. Now Butch has one thing in mind. We've arrived. It's about time. The bitter end. Oof. Creed could not avoid the big shot. Two. Oh, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here are your winners. Butch and Ridge Holland. The brawling Bruce. Two great superstars that go great together. And that win is proof. Two minds working as one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. These two have no business out here. How in the world are these two going to be able to compete now? You better figure out an answer quickly. But otherwise, this looks like a bleak scenario. Well, I guess they're going to give it their best shot. Well, they're still insisting on going forward this matchup. I don't know if this is smart. Well, you know the old saying, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Well, the attackers obviously were not supposed to be part of this match. And now this team has got their backs against the wall. Buckle up. This one's going to be ugly. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. No, Byron, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play counselor. The referee's there to officiate this match. You don't have to like it, but this match is going to happen. There's a tag. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Right across the chest. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Oh, he thinks he has it. And he manages to kick out at one. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. And Karrion Cross is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Choke slam! Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. What the right suplex. And Kit struggling a bit. I think Cross just advanced the count on the doomsday clock with that attack. Yes, tag. Get back here. Leg lariat. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Elton is feeling a rush of confidence right now. right now. Oof. What are you guys thinking? Obviously.
obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Selena Del Sol. We've seen a lot of contentious rivalries here in WWE over the years, but this is really starting to... Got it. There's the winners of the tag match. Here are your winners. The Hero and Karrion Cross. Talk about a solid win. Everything went their way here. Only because the opposition got softened up by that attack earlier. But you're right. Victory is theirs. A loss like this is what happens when you fail to expect the unexpected. Well, I think they... She calls herself the young veteran, Alba Fire. A woman with plenty of accolades, and she's just getting started. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire. Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside Io Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. Alba Fire has declared that her spiritual alchemy is complete and she is ready for battle. And she's ready to unleash catastrophic outcomes on the entire women's division. Behold the modern day witch. Oh, uh, Dawn gives me the creeps. And her partner from Glasgow, Scotland, Isla Dawn. Isla Dawn approaches every match with zero fear because she's the one to be feared. With her villainous intentions and mean streak, she's probably right about that. Don't let all the theatrics distract you from the fact that Isla Dawn is as vicious as they come. No doubt about that, Cole. Expect no mercy from Dawn in this one. They're here! And a duo that has showcased the very best in tag team wrestling tonight looking to be another one for the highlight reel The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause why that might be it. No, a kick out. 
She shows that she's far from finished. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Even a near fall there. There's press and there's press. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Uh-oh. The arms are hooked. Tiger suplex. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. Is she going to tap, tap? Right, scratching, doing whatever it takes. She will not let this match end. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. On the throat in the corner. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. My God, enough! She got her down, is this it? Stops the count before two. Finding hard to stay in this match. In off the tag. And Isla really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Tag is made, and here we go. Unbelievable athleticism. <laughs> Into the arm bar. That was amazing. Uh -oh. Left arm trap, wiggles free. Nicely done. The only thing keeping her upright. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Bulldog across the ring. Here's the cover. She kicks out with authority. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. A bone salt. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Hurricanrana. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. She gets it. Get back here. Leg Lariat. The fight is being taken to Isla. Dawn's being systematically worked on. So she tags in. Using the elbow as a weapon. Targeting the neck. Right after the neck. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Ah, stops the legs. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. For the pin and the win. Yes. Thank oh, goodness for the teammate. Not Just quite in time. Going for it. Crossface submission is in. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold? Big time win in this tag team match.
and a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together they may never lose a match. One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day! The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing The New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. You know, the only thing worse than this pancake and unicorn parade is that I know for a fact these guys are going to launch their clothes at me. <laughs> Don't be a negative Nancy, Corey. That's just part of the fun. It's not fun. And they need to fire whoever's doing their laundry. Oh, look out, Corey. Look out. <laughs> When the lights go out, you must run. Bray Wyatt has arrived. Such an eerie and mysterious feeling in here. And the mind games of Wyatt have only just begun. He can't question Big E's dominance. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find an answer when it comes to one of the most physically dominant superstars in WWE.
Here we go with Big E, one of the most entertaining superstars in WWE. The only thing that outshines Big E's personality is his tremendous strength. Freakish at times. He'd be more terrifying if he didn't smile so much. I'm not seeing too many smiles from the big man right now, Corey. Yeah, but he's facing the master of the mind games, Bray Wyatt. You might say Wyatt has already started this match before the bell even rang. Yeah, as dangerous outside of the ring as he is inside it, Bray has an unholy combination of intelligence, intensity, and aggression. I'm not exactly sure what fuels it all, and I'm not sure I want to know. Lighten up the chest, and now... Straight to the knee. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Oh, huge splash. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Something's about to go either very well. Launching. Whoa, what a landing. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Belly to belly. Wyatt being deprived of his true joy of punishment there. Yeah, Big E really took control right there. Whip back into the ring. Incoming. Cross landing. Powerbomb. The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. All right, so this usually isn't the advice I'd give a big man, but Big E is no ordinary big man. He needs to slow it down in there. Big E's speed and agility are as impressive as everything else about him, but they all from the top. Elbow drop. Did you guys feel the rumble from that impact? Right there. Big E, pick it up. Uh -oh. Evil to reverse. He could get dropped here. Spiked with a urinagi. Saving us from having to sit through that. What are they doing here? Here's the cover. cover. We got a rope break. The WWE Universe started to... Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Swinging gut buster. like a sitting duck right now. Oh, mandible claw! Mandible claw! Crucial moment for Big E. Cover! There's two! He, no way! No way! What a kick out! The power of positivity lives on! Well, Big E used to say three ain't enough, but clearly that goes both ways. And Bray probably will see this as more chance to dispense his own hazardous brand of punishment. Still bad, but... Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Vicious headbutt. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Cross body! Big E has lost any momentum here. Bray is firmly in the driver's seat. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Saw that coming. Ooh, what a prince. Ooh. Ow. Loving blow to the chest. 
I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Whoa! Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Oh, draped over the top rope. Oh, man. Gentlemen, this is what I believe we refer to as mud hole stomping. Big E is dialing in. Has his opponent up. This is about to be over because here comes Big E with a big ending. Big E got For sure. For most men, I'd call that resiliency, but for Wyatt, it's become habitual. Huge clothesline delivered. Quick thinking, managing to duck out of the way, delivers a nice back body drop. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, what a jarring spine buster. Big attack from Big E. And that's Big E showing he can be patient, showing he can slow it down. No mistakes in Big E's game right now. Able to give him the slip. Close line. That move looks to have stymied Big E. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Big E climbs. What's on his mind? Taking flight. Wyatt was waiting for that. He thinks he has it. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Kick. Some mental chess here from Wyatt. Belly to belly suplex. Ray reverses. Is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. This could be it. Cover for the win. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. See him tap out. Not like this. Bray Wyatt with the victory. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. A top loss for Big E here. I'm sure this will only add to the demented joy of Wyatt. It's almost scarier when he's happy. The original, the official, the only club that matters. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight.
Oh, getting set to take on the Apex Predator, the Viper. One of the greatest of all time. This is going to be a rough night for him. The Viper, ready to strike. And his opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Viper, Randy Orton! Randy Orton is basically a five-star general of psychological warfare. Learned his killer instinct in evolution and has now evolved into the Apex Predator. Randy's entire body is a weapon. He's forged it through two decades of war. Yeah, Randy Orton is no ordinary man, and, and there's nothing he won't do to take you down. His opponent must understand the presence and the danger in front of him. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. The bell rings and we're underway. The Viper, Randy Orton, clearly coiled and ready to strike here tonight. Yeah, Cole, you can see the gears turning already. Orton's is calculating a competitor as they come. He clearly has a plan set for this one, and if I know one thing, it's that he'll be executing it with complete precision. Well, we'll see if Orton's plan comes to fruition. And then there's AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. He's a competitor who has always been his own man. He's played by his rules and stayed true to himself throughout his career. That's right, AJ's cut his own path through the industry. He's always aimed high and he rarely misses his target. I'm sure he's got big aspirations for this match as well. Lincoln, you miss it, power slam by Orton. Place kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, and a close line to follow. Compromised position here. Oh, makes the cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. and accolades over the years, Randy Orton has more than cemented his legacy in WWE. And yet, there are plenty of competitors still bullheaded enough to believe that they can be the one to bring Orton down, to put an indelible mark on all he's accomplished. No doubt Randy realizes that, and he uses it as more fuel for his fire. Looking to take flight here. Up high! Look out below! Coming down! like a sack of bricks. And now thrown back into the ring. Styles letting him know there is only one phenomenal one around here. Caught with a clothesline. And it looked like the competition was set on teaching Orton something there. AJ used that veteran offense there, something he's built up over his career. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. <laughs> Boom, what an uppercut. John. Oh, 
Oh, no. Trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Saving us from having to sit through that. Planted with a neck breaker. Backbreaker. What a lethal combination there. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. What are we about to see? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Practically never end. Styles going down low. And the cab crusher. Will he tap? This is abs. Ooh, that hurt. Gordon measuring his opponent and boom. And AJ didn't have any answer for that attack. When the Viper strikes, he does not hold back. Orton measuring him. One knee smash. Orton to the top. From the top. Whoa, what a landing. And after that, you know things have just kicked up the notch. Pedal to the metal right now. AJ pausing to... Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Measuring. Oh, face stop. And he gets set back into the ring. Roundhouse kick. No signs of either combatant backing down. Oof. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. He's one step ahead there, and that was a precisely measured attack. Counters the Viper's attack. Defenses are sharp in this series of reverses. A phenomenal blitz. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Styles is measuring Orton, calculating his next move. Uh-oh. Picked out of midair. Saw it coming and took him down. Makes the cover. And the count stops short of two. Still not enough to put him away. Oh, Precision what? knee drop. AJ Styles being tested here. He needs to weather this storm for any chance of a comeback. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. AJ Styles might be headed for a rare loss unless he turns things around. Orton gets the better there. Being carried around with ease. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. from he dug down deep to kick out but now this is when randy orton is at his most dangerous a viper who's had a taste and knows what it takes to win pure intensity from the viper yeah orton is doing his best to ground aj styles and here he comes set up for the famed orton stop almost like randy enjoys this One. he could pin his opponent right here
this was certainly hard fought. Out of all the victories Randy Orton has notched in his career, this one is one of the biggest. The Viper was able to stay one step ahead of AJ Styles. AJ is devastated, and Styles truly can't believe what transpired here tonight. Things are about to get good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from out of this world. Weighing in at 210 pounds. The living legend, the spirit of man. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. There's no doubt LA Knight has created something special with the WWE Universe. It's a real movement with everybody saying his name. Now it becomes about what can Knight do with it. LA Knight is ready, and this one's official. Knight is out here not just to grab the spotlight, but to take what he thinks is rightfully his. At one point, Knight's dream of competing in WWE seemed like just a figment of Knight's imagination. Now Knight is making up for lost time, as he says, taking out the trash. But he'll be taking on an individual who is turning a lot of He's getting a lot popularity that is steadily growing week by week, and he wants to prove that the hype is legitimate. From the top, tossing down. Right to the gut. Power bomb. Oh, not done yet. Samoa drop. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Out of the way in time. Lift it up. What do they have in mind here? Burning hammer! Quickly, the cover! He kicks out with authority. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, the knee drop connects. Yeah. LA Knight on attitude tonight, but how does he convert confidence into results? And he goes for the pin. A shocking loss for L.A. Knight in this one. He really tried, but L.A. Knight couldn't get it done here.
Guys, there was an argument to determine who starts this match, and now the matchup's finally underway after that. Oh, 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 man. oh. oh. These two can't get on the same page. They can't oh. even get the same book. More dissension in the ranks, and the superstars take it off. Well, it's two on one handicap match now, it appears. Can you blame them? Well, this team just disintegrated right before our very eyes. I mean, this has basically turned into a two-on-one handicap match. Well, this match is underway, but as we just saw, there's clearly a lack of respect between these superstars. Respect isn't a prerequisite, Cole. It's not something you have to have for your peers, and it's definitely not something to give out freely. If you want respect in WWE, you have to take it. Never forget that. are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Uh-oh. Countered it just in time. There's the takedown. into the ring. The 10 beats of the modern. Shot after shot after shot. And a drop. Can she score the pin? And a kick out. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Sure looks effective from here. A handicap match can bring a host of challenges to the combatants. Corey, what is the thought process when competing in a match like this? Well, the numbers are in your favor. It's important to have whoever is on the apron cause distractions. Remind the person who's outnumbered just how high the hill is that they have to climb. Double big back body drop. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. Sleeper slam! Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. All the way up. And the crowd will this be enough? And she kicks it at two. She's still as determined as ever. I don't know who's feeling this more, her or the crowd. Made her pay for her mistake. Springboard off. On the second row. She's beginning to flag a little. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Beautiful arm ringer applied. Bang! So accurate. Stomp to the leg. In comes Tamina. Big right hand. Line. Good grief. You can tell there's a serious grudge that needs to be worked out here. Well, there's no better place to do it. The time for talk is over. Now we'll see if actions can put an end to this rivalry. 
Can she keep her down? She gets a quick kick out there. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Got to find a way to get out of this. Naturally, Tamina going the intimidation route. Oh, kick connects. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. She might be in some trouble now. Oh, come on, Cole. No one leaves a handicap match completely unscathed. Tag made. Tag made. Section hoisted up, disorienting spin and big time powerbomb, and that might be just enough to win. Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. Hooking it up here. What's next? Up handle suplex. She's calling for it. shake that disharmony and come out with the victory. That's going to be a great feeling. Well, it also has to be hard knowing that might have been the end of the relationship. We'll have to wait and see on this one, guys. Even though they got the win, I don't know if this rift is too big to overcome. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's gonna sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till their necks get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I be busting them up like a pimple, stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers, step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show I bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The dangerous Santos Escobar from Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. And his opponent, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. 
It is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. When Escobar joined WWE, he arrived here under a mask. But he quickly put the past behind him. He evolved. He became the superstar we know today. That change seems like a very good one for Santos. We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old-school lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely ruthless to boot. Our truth is extremely unpredictable, though. You never know which version of our truth you're going to get. Is he going to be the one interested in dance breaks, or has he come to show off his veteran prowess? Well, whichever version of our truth we've got tonight, from the top, Rock Kick finds its mark. Rolling next snap. Brutal. What's going to give R Truth an edge in this matchup and help him find the win? Has to be his veteran experience. R Truth was getting it done in the ring before many WWE superstars had even laced up their first pair of boots. The more he puts that experience to work, the better his chances of winning this thing. Lifting up their opponent. What's in store? Thunderous right hand. There's some power behind that punch. Uh-oh. He thinks he has it. Gets the shoulder up instantly. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Santos toying with his opponent a little bit. Front face lock applied with the underhook. No oh, gut buster. That was a far cry from Truth's usual enthusiasm. Santos went a little old school with that one, I think. That's not right. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a cover. Gets the shoulder up and one. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Saxton, he's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Ugh. 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 Gut punch. Nasty. He knows how to avoid contact. Ugh. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Corked a big punch. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. And Escobar didn't see that coming. This has got to be one of the most knockdown, drag out progressions of a rivalry we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Oh, stiff uppercut. His shoulders are down. He kicks out instantly. Going to take a lot more than that to keep this man down. Stomping down. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Escobar. Phantom driver. That's it. Santos just ended things. Two. Man, that is a, a huge upset. Maybe the biggest of the year. Well, believe me, this superstar realizes how... Oh. Second. I understand being frustrated, but that's ridiculous. This superstar just crossed the line.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the NXT North American Here comes the greatest, Trick Willie. Says he has the gift of gab and the gift of jab. Trick Williams possesses undeniable skills on the mic and in the ring. And undeniably full of himself. Now this is a must-see kid of WWE. He was known as a tag team competitor before joining WWE, even won the Dusty Classic and NXT Tag Team Championships early in his WWE career but now has grown as a singles competitor too, winning the NXT North American Championship even. Somebody call air traffic control because Wesley is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air of the display like none other. Introducing the challenger from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams! And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, the North American Champion, Wes Always a big fight feel with the NXT North American title is being defended. We've seen the NXT North American title in the middle of some of the fiercest matches on the black and gold brand. And for good reason, Michael. The North American Championship puts your name on a short list of champions. It also puts a huge target on your back. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. If you needed evidence of how much that championship means, look no further than that onslaught. And some effective offense with that one. Oh, clothesline! Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. 
Crank in the head. And the momentum's clearly against Wes now. And Wes has to quickly pull something out of his sleeve here. He got whipped into that corner. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. There is some power behind that punch. Oh, face first. When he lacks in size, Wesley more than makes up for in speed and agility. Could that be enough tonight, Corey? Well, those traits definitely put Wesley in the highlight reel, but what really makes him a winner is his incredible resiliency. He needs to depend on that tonight. Looks like Trick has taken the upper hand. Yeah, Trick is really grinding the opposition down. Big impact. The champ not looking great right now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Their opponent is down and in bad shape, but that's not stopping them. Huge offense from Trick Williams. Hungry and refusing to stay in the background. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. He's lining him up. Take off. Whoa, look out. From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. Something in the corner. Kick. Oh. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. He's in the tree of woe, Michael. I think we're about to see it, Carl. I can't believe it. Yeah. Row, stop. Pulls the ripcord. Ripcord knee. Williams looking unable to get a leg up in this match. West leaves resiliency on display right there, and it just might bring him a victory tonight. Oh. He's going for it all. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Lift off. All the way to the outside. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Oh, setting them up. Canadian Destroyer. And Wes Lee's resilience comes through in the clutch. Taking out the arm. Great strategy. And Wes is really dialed in right now. And Williams need Wes devising something. Another one bites the dust to the champ. the brunt of that. And he gets set back into the ring. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. We could have been looking at a countout there. Yeah, you just know that would have been a deflating result for the WWE Universe. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Trick getting worked on right now. Wes continues on the assault, keeping things at his pace. Three Marotta. That's how you impress. Sky high. Oh, a huge miss there. Oh, knee right to the face. We can have a new champion.
Here is your winner and the new NXT North American Champion, Trick Williams. A brutal loss for our now former champion. This is the kind of moment you dream about as a competitor. Bravo to him. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Braun! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. drive on paper all the attributes of a top talent yeah Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things here comes a truly vicious superstar and Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice and his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Facing an opponent seemingly invulnerable to intimidation in Broad Breaker. Yeah, this man has got to keep from being intimidated by Breaker. In many ways, Braun Breaker was born for this. Wrestling is in his blood. He grew up watching his father and uncle decimate top talent. Now he's here to do the same. But Breaker isn't just an iteration on his family's past success. He's an evolution built for the future of this industry. He's a next generation powerhouse who attacks the competition with impressive technical ability and nonstop intensity. That intensity of Braun Breaker certainly has put him on another level. At times, he can appear almost unmatched inside the ring. And what can you say about Drew Gulak other than he's a man who has dedicated his entire life to mastering wrestling. He's a no-frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even I have to admit, Gulak's knowledge of grappling is staggering. But it's that incredible mind for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar. From way up, toppling down. What a beautiful for Moonsault. Dealing out some damage and looking good doing it. Kicking out so early certainly sends a message. Oh, ouch! And the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. Yeah, Breaker isn't giving any quarter. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. He's absorbed some damage already. Power, strength, speed, agility, athleticism. Braun Breaker really does have all the tools to be at the top of this business. And when he puts it all together, Cole, there are few men in this company who can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's why he's got a great chance to win tonight. Oh, man, right? 
right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Kick gets caught. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. All the way up. The crash landing powerbomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Oh! Frankensteiner! Nicely done. Really just laying it in. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And this match is not over yet. Things He's got him down. Is this it? Denying a two count there. Still in it. Oh, an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. There you go, Cole. Braun Breaker living up to his reputation for the win. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker! Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. I guess Gulak needs to double check the numbers in his PowerPoint presentation to figure out exactly what went wrong tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 376 pounds. The team of Humberto and Noam Dar. Take a look at this team, completely on the same page. Such incredible teamwork they've shown. I can't wait to see them compete. Get ready for some higher learning. And the opponents, accompanied by Thea Hale, and a combined weight of 469 pounds. Andre Chase and Duke Hudson Chase University. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight, or else they'll be put on double secret probation. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. We're about to get an education in the ring here from Chase U. Well, they're impressive in their academic. He can end it here. Stops the count before it, too. Showing his determination there with that kick out. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. 
Abdominal stretch. He better think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. And clothesline. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Tagging his partner in now. And scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. What a punch. That's a good tag. Double axe handle. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. And he sends him into the corner. In the corner. And an elbow for good measure. Chase making clear he has his number. Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Piercing. Humberto's toughness being called into question by that offense. A page right out of the Chase U textbook. Talk about a teachable moment. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh my God. And Umberto dodges that one. Duke taking a step back and measuring his opponent. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Now, leave the cover, shoulders down. of time. Big knee to the midsection. Duke Hudson calling on the WWE Universe to fuel him. He made it. Tag made. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Put into the corner now. Oh, across the top rope. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Fighting back with a counter. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. Firm control. What a boost. That might take some of the fight out of no end. Take your notes. That was quick and effective delivery by Chase. more than fired up right now. And you can just feel the contempt, the venom these superstars have for each other. It's been fueling them. 
Andre Chase with a hammer lock of Brian into a flatline. No way Dar's coming back from that. Chase making clear he has his number. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Uh-oh. SOS! Noam Dar is just getting knocked around. And Andre is carefully calculating every movement. Reverse DDT! End of the road. Andre just rubbing it in now. Big elbow. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. And targeting the leg there. Andre climbs what's on his mind. From the top. Elbow drop. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Fights out at two. Obviously still has some fight left. Andre just rubbing it in there. He's got him locked. Put down face first. The ref not even getting a one. How'd he do that? Right to the kidneys from behind. Gets Clowder with the axe handle. Uh-oh. Boom! Scorpion death drop. Does he have him here? an academic win for Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. This is just the kind of publicity Chase U loves. Want to be a winner like Chase and Hudson? Chase U is where it's at. Gentlemen, trouble is on tap, and here are your servers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bullhead City, Arizona, weighing in at 268 pounds, Josh Briggs. A team from where the beard drowns and the whiskey chases their blues away. You would have friends in low places, Corey. He's a total blow. He's moving at super speed. He is the man called Axiom. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, Axiom. Axiom says he wants to be a symbol people can rally behind. Well, he's got the support of much of the WWE Universe already. A superb athlete. Axiom is ready to take his game to the next level. And right any wrongs he encounters along the way.
That's the bell, and this one's on. An opponent cannot take their eyes off Axiom for a second. He's so fast and strikes with such precision. Every second counts, Cole. Axiom's speed keeps him a step ahead and causes opponent's attacks to backfire in spectacular fashion. And it's that athleticism, Corey, that lets Axiom counter-attack in midair and convert them into pinning predicaments. He can score a victory at any time. Josh Briggs is more than ready to duke it out, though, and best believe he isn't going to let up anytime soon. Yeah, the big man has come here on a mission to lay waste to anyone who dares step in the ring with him. And a focused Briggs is a dangerous Briggs. Soaring! And into the count. Two! And a kick out at two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Incredible athleticism. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Corey, we know that Axiom has a deep bag of aerial skills that can upset the biggest opponents. How does that impact his match tonight? While his agility is impressive, Cole, Axiom does have a few weaknesses. With his calculating mind, we've seen Axiom overthink during a match, and it's called... Uh-oh! Suicide dive! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. And now Briggs is under Emmett. Looking for a submission here. Rings of Saturn apply. Rings of Saturn. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. What's he going to do to Axiom? Choke slam backbreaker. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Axiom might have him for the win. There's two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Axiom. This has to be a tough loss for Josh Briggs. Make no mistake about it. This is a big win for Axiom. Everyone stand up and take notice. The master of motion is your winner. A promising young talent with a lot of swagger. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it's for the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo. You hear them say it, you hear the fans say it, mellow, don't miss. Yeah, for once I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring. Tonight might just be Carmelo Hayes' next big victory. He's a true alpha male. Braun Breaker ready to dominate. And introducing the challenger from Worcester, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career.
technique, drive, on paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. And introducing the champion from Jersey, the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, the NXT champion, Nathan Frazier. One of the best young high flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup. A truly well-rounded athlete. You can see it in the eyes of each individual. Only razor sharp focus when this much is on the line. Only one superstar will leave with the title in the end of this match under triple threat rules with Carmelo Hayes, Braun Breaker, and Nathan Frazier. And you know these odds do not favor the champion. Well, that's what defending the title is all about. DDT stomping down. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Right to the kidneys from behind. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh good gosh. measure. Planet face first. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. That kind of agility is what earned them the title. And a stand. Moonsault. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. He's not even close to being done yet. And set right into the corner. Took him out at the knee. Targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. Boom, right the button. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Powerhouse display by Breaker. The hype is real, gentlemen. And I feel like you really have to keep your head on a swivel in this match. That's an understated way of putting it, Cole, but the good news is if you've made it this far, you're doing something right. Remember to keep your eyes open and reaction time sharp. That's the key to a triple threat match. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Looking for something, anything under the ring. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. What's he open to find down there? I can already feel the sting of the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. Oh, man. Insulting. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Excellent display of the raw talent Hayes possesses. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold. And he breaks the submission. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Oh, God. A blitz of offense on Frazier here. Nathan keeps getting cut down. You gotta win at any cost. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. 
The steel chair never as innocent as it looks. Somersault plancha! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. This bat is such a dangerous weapon in his hands right now. Round and round into the satellite DDT. And look at for a back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. As them up, nice way slot takedown. Holding on. How about another? Establishing complete control. And that has to put some fear into the champ, seeing the kind of power their challenger possesses. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, deadly face buster. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing their opponent like they're not. Jumping suplex released. The challenger fending off the two count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. The life left in Nathan might be out. Carmelo Hayes. Oh, my goodness. What a cut. The champ's eyes were glazed over. Adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. A bad place to be for the challenger. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. And now Breaker is playing to the crowd. Placed into the corner. Despicable. That was simply a despicable display we just saw. This crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Check out this display of power by Braun Breaker way overhead. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. the kidneys. Golly. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Now a pen for the championship. <laughs> Emphatic kick out from the champion. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Ron Breaker setting it up for the military press. Round we go and into the side slam. Nice. The champ has been taken to their limit. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. DDT. The kick. Nasty kick. Breaker is putting his opponent on notice. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. The military press into the power slam. The title might change hands. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Oh, a sledgehammer in the midsection will knock the wind out of you. He foiled that attempt. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Razor not backing down one bit. <laughs> and there's Nathan dealing out even more damage. Well, Nathan knows he can't afford to back off. He has 
to finish this. DDT! And he tosses him back in now. Throw back in under the ropes. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Mello reminding his opponent that he don't miss. Oh. Whitney Larian. And this match will head back to the ring. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Covered by the champ. Broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Caught right on the jaw by an unsuspected uppercut. And misses on the springboard. Doing whatever it takes. Oh, God, that hurt. Go behind. German suplex. This is just brute power. German! Just pure dominance. This won't end well. Carmelo even more determined than ever now. Back in the ring now. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, what a close line. Breaker wants his opponent to know they're in for it. To the gut. Set up. There's a Canadian destroyer. Wow. A show of disrespect from Frazier. him back to the mat. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. He'll head to the ring. Springboard clothesline. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, and I'm right there with them. Oh, that was a long way down. Oh, an overhand punch. He's returning fire. Breaker making it loud and clear for his opponent tonight. Returning to the ring now. Hurricane Slip play! Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. He's heading up top. Thinking big. If this lands, it's over. Finish splash! I think the champ's got it. And he breaks up the count. It's 
the mark. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the pair turn out the lights. The party's over. Braun Breaker is your new champion. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion, Braun Breaker. And he's walking out of here. The new champ. He wanted this title so badly. And he went in there and made it happen. Impressive stuff. Cora Jade is here. Jendo stick in hand, ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. Get ready to see the toughness of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. She called herself a whole lot of woman, ready to do a whole lot of whooping. And her partner from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons. Already a favorite of the NXT crowd, it won't be long before the entire WWE Universe catches on. Blair Davenport, a young woman who won't let any competitor get in her way. And she does whatever she wants to do. A world travel competitor looking to make her mark in WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Always looking to make a statement of superiority and viciousness. Exerted her dominance as one of the top women in NXT UK and is now looking to take over all of WWE. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future.
Hand from Fort Worth, Texas. B. Talk about an intense competitor. This superstar doesn't have an off switch. Nobody has an off switch, Saxton. Trust me, if you had one, I'd have hit it a long time ago. She is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in tonight's match. So many successful Hall of Fame superstars originally started out in tag teams. Byron, think we might see the makings of a breakout performer here? Oh, there's definitely a chance, Michael. But it's just as likely that we see a team take that next step toward greatness. That's the beauty of tag team wrestling. You get to see superstars mature in all sorts of different ways. Goodness gracious. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, solid form. And she goes for the pin. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. School boy. No. Nope. Rolls through. In the shoulder kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Senton connects. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Got the tag. Got the tag. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Right across the lyrics. This is just brute power. Release German. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. Clear. She has her number. Lands a knee. He is looking to do some serious harm. to go in this one. Oh, looks like we're gonna see it for a sliced bread. Into the pin attempt. Two count. She was close to the end there. Somehow, some way. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. And we just saw some serious offense. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Kick to the body. Jay can seal it here. Shoulders down. Oh, she picked up the victory. Picked up the victory. Here are your winners. 
the team of Cora Jane and Nikita Lyons. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the NXT Women's Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Take a look at her eyes. More than ready to become the standard bearer of this division. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. Major title defense. Can she handle the pressure of this match? Introducing the challenger from Fort Worth, Texas. And her opponent from Fort Worth, Texas, the NXT Women's Champion. Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. And here's the superstar who's been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top of the women's division. I agree with that, Michael. And no matter what success she's had, I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. But she'll be challenged by a woman who's shown a high acumen in the ring. There's nothing you can throw at her that she hasn't already devised an answer for. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Oh, oh my goodness! On.
unbelievable impact that had to send tremors down the challenger's entire body. Down for a European arm breaker. Hook in the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Toss back into the ring. First, a knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Quick takedown there. Oh, oh, oh. Toss. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Might just have the quickness advantage over the champ. That could factor into this in a very big way when push comes to shove. Snap suplex. Cover! Instant kick out from the champion. She's still in this one. Ooh, what a forearm club. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And her resolve's looking unsteady here. Looks like she's having problems creating any of her own offense. And shoulders are down. Getting the shoulder up before two. Staying in this one. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Oh, good grief. Turn your lights out. Those strikes were a sign from the challenger. A message that says, I want that title so badly, I can practically taste it. And that was a well-executed attack. Ooh, what a forearm club. Driver. Two. Sends off the three count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. On the top. Through the air. It connects. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. And she slides her back to the mat. That kick will stop me in your tracks. And it's a long way down from there. Uh oh, this is this is risky. This is dangerous. From the top. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Head scissor. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Series of reversals. And back in the ring we go. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Cover for the championship! Fights the shoulder up at one. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. the title she's the champ what's there to say but congrats to her this is exactly what she wanted
Guys, I cannot overstate the importance of this match here tonight. Of course not, Michael. Anytime the tag titles are on the line, the match takes on a whole new level of importance. But Byron, is tonight the night he finally proves he's the better superstar? It could be, Michael. I know he's been telling some of the guys in the locker room that he's fed up. So, yeah, he could very well be looking to end this rivalry right here tonight. Uh, it's time to cut the disrespect. The Don is in the building. Oh, yeah. The Don of WWE says he's all about tradition. Yeah, I'm not sure how legal that tradition is. Yeah. Right. Well, D'Angelo has already developed quite the family in NXT, amassing success and winning titles. But now the question is, can he keep focused and succeed in all of WWE? Well, he better, because there's always competition to unseat the Don. The underboss is here. Time to pay your respects to Stax. The Don's right-hand man. Stax is not a man you want to cross. Incredibly athletic and ruthless, he'll stop at nothing to climb to the top of WWE. Yeah, there's an especially dangerous feeling when he's in the ring. Stax treats every match like a turf war. Stax has two educations, one from the streets and one from school. That's what makes him twice as smart. Well, it's that sharp IQ that's helped him conquer the streets and WWE. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. Here we go, all set to see the D'Angelo family firm tighten their grip on the WWE Tag Team Division. Yeah, Cole, but the harder you grip, the easier it is for things to slip through your fingers. There are a lot of teams hoping to knock Tony D and Stax off their game and take control for themselves. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and family needs to be as much bite as they are bark. I expect we'll see all the bite they have to give here tonight. Well, if you want hard-hitting, no cover by the challenger! 
slam the door yet. Just brutalizing their opponent with forearms to the side of the face. And what a hit. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He is looking to do some serious harm. Get his press. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Backbreaker. And backbreaker. Gets the tag. Oh, what a forearm. Here's the pin. Title on the line. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Wow. Ooh, what an uppercut. Jarring. Drop kick hits hard. Lands harder. Ooh, what a planted knee. Ouch. Tossed into the corner. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Perched up top. Diving knee block. Tags him in. Showing him what a real alpha male looks like. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Nice hip toss. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Sure seems to be getting out of there in a hurry. A chance to get his thoughts together and regroup. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. Powerful spine buster! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Grabs the leg. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Treating the champ like a featherweight. This challenger has plenty of power. Ooh. Oof. He is looking to do some serious harm. And stomping away in the corner. Just ruthless. And there is no other term for that than just cheap. A cheap shot. Tag made. Double team maneuver on the horizon. Double hip toss. Solid teamwork, but let's not forget the champs have solid teamwork of their own, too. Tag is made, and here we go. Oh, caught by the back elbow. And a kick. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Nice suplex. Ah, oh, jeez. The challenger eating up some damage. And D'Angelo made sure his opponent paid up with that offense. Placed it over into a suplex. It's almost hard to believe that this epic robbery began like any other, with jealousy and harsh words. But from that seed has blossomed an all-time blood feud. Yeah, and who could have predicted when all this began that they become bitter enemies, the likes of which we rarely see. The champ knows exactly how to use the hardest part of the ring to their advantage. Setting up in the corner. Ball uppercut. Champ looking to end this. Title match stays alive. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Bang! Vicious boot. Dominating shoulder tackle. And D'Angelo telling the crowd to watch him.
Got to find a way to get out of this. Targeting the throat there. And a tag there. Held in a perilous position. An attempt for the championship. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Arm ringer up and down into a choke slam. Looking for the victory. He just won't give up. Mark Coffey has it marked. Mark Coffey rips over his opponent with a snap Marin. Crowning glory. The champ's eyes look glazed over. That's got to be it. What a moment! Here are your winners, and the new NXT Tag Team Champions, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? percent in the rank. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. He showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs>
Shinsuke Nakamura ready for action here. You have to admire the style and grace with which Shinsuke delivers his offense. Absolutely, Cole. It's a symphony of destruction. You don't earn the crown of King of Strong Style by pulling any punches. Nakamura's offense is something orchestrated out of speed, power, and conviction. We've seen how his offense can chop down opponents of any size, and I expect we'll see more of that tonight. And standing across the ring from him is an incredible competitor in Sami Zayn. When that bell rings and Sami goes in, he leaves it all in the ring. Sami lives that DIY ethos. Sami Zayn takes pomp and circumstance and kicks it out the window. Sami's here to put in the work and take care of business. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, just cranking the head. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Beats the count out and what a close call. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Shinsuke Nakamura brings to the ring with him a wide arsenal of strikes, but one of them stands above the rest. The Kinshasa. Does Nakamura's legendary knee strike factor into tonight's match? Absolutely. It's the crown jewel of his arsenal, but... That said, Shinsuke has a variety of additional punches, kicks, and strikes he can call upon to take control of this match. It's all about picking the right weapon for the situation, and he may not even need the Kinshasa tonight. Oh, and then the chest as well. Climbing up to the top now. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Up high! What? That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. He climbs into the ring. Likes you. Uh, the wow, look at Shinsuke go to work in there. Nakamura is doing what he does best, perusing his arsenal of brutal attacks and picking the one he thinks will inflict the most damage. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And that looked like it shook Shinsuke's foundation a bit. Oh, what a knee lift. The cover. And he easily stops the ref's count. He's far from finished. Nakamura laying down the gauntlet for their opponent. Effective. He can end it here. Kicks out at just one. I didn't think this match was close to over. Spin kick to the midsection. Shinsuke Nakamura. Landslide by Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke reminding us why he's the one they call the king of strong style. Nakamura looking to finish this off. This could put a stop to Zayn. Two count. Oh, kick out, kick out at two. I cannot believe that Sami Zayn wants to prolong this fight any further. And you see the look of exhaustion mixed with frustration on Shinsuke's face. What more does he need to do here? Sami Zayn here. And I don't see Shinsuke slowing down anytime soon. Clearly waiting for that. Bullseye with the drop kick. It's obvious Zayn is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. Not what you want to see by any means. Sami Zayn needs to dig down deep as he's done so many times in the past. Shinsuke Nakamura playing to the crowd now. Really just laying it in. Ooh. What impact! 
Whoa! Ah, uh, forearm! And there's no questioning the abilities of Shinsuke Nakamura after this display. Yeah, Sammy's defensive instincts need to kick in. From way up, fist directly to the gut. Zayn might be able to start mounting something here. But Zayn has to push now while the window's open. Foot to the gut. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. Sammy Zayn down his opponent with two close lines, ducking out of the way. What a drop kick. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. And he's saved by the ropes. Ooh. Kick finds it. And he's taking this to the outside now. Neck breaker! And Shinsuke, victim to some further punishment there. Zayn is up the pressure after that move. Don't come over here! Cole, quit! Use Saxton as a human shield! And he throws the opposition back into the ring. attack on the leg. Shinsuke Nakamura needs to figure out a solution. Yeah, such intensity from Zayn right now. Sami Zayn, blue thunderbomb. Sami, he's going for the pin. This could be it. And the victory. Here is your Nakamura finding himself on the losing side of things tonight. And Sami Zayn proving once again that he is not to be underestimated no matter the situation. You just cannot overcome a competitor with the momentum of Sami Zayn. And here we go. Wasting little time. The brawl's underway. So much bad blood between both these teams. Not even waiting for the bell to ring. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. Two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high as evidence of the way this match started. But should we really be going through with this match after what happened before the bell? Well, if you want to go stand in the way of these superstars, go for it. Before I'm sitting, it doesn't look like there's any stopping them. Is it? Effective arm drag. He's tagging out. Shoulder tackle. Up and down. What a slam. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Double shoulder block. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Just going all out with every blow. There's press. Hammering away. Oh my gosh, with one hand! 
It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. from Sangha. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Got the tag! Got the tag! Snap man right. Surfboard stretch apply. Nice. And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Some power behind that punch. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. Oh, man. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. being reminded there that it will take a lot more to dismantle his opponent. Yeah, and Sangha put that right on target. Trio woe, no escape in sight. Stuck in the tree of woe and right up against his uh, face to the cover. Caught the pin off with a rope break. There's a tag. There's press and the piston like right hands. There's press. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Leaping high! Big back body drop! Ooh, stinging kick! And we've seen how this rivalry is escalating to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other, no matter the price or consequences. And that is what makes this whole situation so scary. Face first with a waistlock takedown. into the ring. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Got to find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Oh, Balor with the counter. Down with a sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Fair. Top 
rope. Here we go. Here it comes. Did it rocks. Did Balor secure a win? Cover. What? Oh, stop, stop, stop. And the forearm smash. Balor is gaining control here. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Uncorked a big punch. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh. Punch straight to the face, staves off the attack. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Scooped up, tombstone slam. Priest has him lined up. Priest has his opponent up. Crucifix powerbomb. And Sangha is out. And off the tag is Finn Balor. The WWE Universe on the edge of their seats, waiting to see which way this ends. Every movement, every attack could be the pivotal point in this match. Boom! Tags him in. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Snapmare takedown. and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Reversal on Sangha. It's a swing blade. And a basement drop kick. made whips across the rank and oh, double shoulder block oh right to the kidneys Golly. looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch punishing stretch his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Boom! Damien looking to embarrass his opponent. Wow, got it. Big time tag team win. Here are your winners, Finn Balor and Damien Priest. What a victory.
victory. That's how you take down an opponent. That's certainly one way of looking at it. It is true they did whatever they had to do to get the win. After a loss like this, under these circumstances, I have to think it brews more bad blood here. Yeah, the word revenge comes to mind. But all that will have to wait. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Nikki Cross! Multiple tag titles, a Money in the Bank winner, a Women's Championship reign. There is a definite method to the madness of Nikki. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Here comes Sonya Deville. And from it's all New about Jersey, the power, and Sonya knows how to get it. Deville. From the MMA world to Tough Enough to NXT to upper management, you can never count Sonya out. Well, that MMA background you mentioned is what makes Sonya so dangerous, along with her unparalleled vindictive streak. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Nikki Cross certainly doesn't wait for the bell to fire off offense. Not exactly someone you want to run into in a dark alley, let alone the ring. Cross operates on a completely different level. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's different. Nikki's unbridled spirit allows her to tear through her opponents. It's become her thing in an odd, twisted way. And she's facing one of the most devastating strikers in the women's division, Sonya Deville. When DeVille's in the ring, you know feet and fists will be flying. There's little to do other than brace for impact and weather her storm of offense. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Flying. She comes up empty. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Man, she's got a... He's firing off shots to the side and escapes. And she's stunned in the corner. Running Bulldog. Nikki Cross is obviously a talented superstar, but what a particular. Can she keep her down? A kick out before the referee can get to one. He's really letting her opponent know how much fight she has. Trap the arm. Plenty of hits coming her way now. A burst of that frenzied offense of Nikki just unleashed. Boom, what impact. Nikki just adding salt to the wound right now. Straight jacket applied. To a neck breaker. Nasty one right to the chest. Solid kick across the back. Oh, look at this. Whiplash deck breaker. Cover, cover. And referee cuts off the 
count in one. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Just breaking down the opponent. Sonya's lost any momentum here. What tenacity from Nikki Cross, overwhelming the opposition with her ferocious attacks. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Unbelievable athleticism. Side headlock applied. Oh, right hand for good measure. Ah, oh, foot just stomping down. Things taking a turn for her now. So did... What is this superstar going to do now? Take it now. Triangle. The triangle's in. Triangle's in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to... And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. And Sonya Deville looking to hype herself up here. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. And it's all over. Sonya Deville gets her. Here's wow, your wiping win. that smug look Sonya right off her face. Deville. Falling victim to the ref's count. This one is over. I think that ref's count might have been a bit fast, but hey, it's his decision. Oh, nice sportsmanship to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sportsmanship. That was totally uncalled for. I love it. Pretty cheap trick to start things off. Maybe cheap, but very smart. Getting inside their opponent's head right away. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. She returns the favor there. She sent flying into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, what a drop kick. What now? Oh, yikes. A stomp to the guts. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Hip drop. This is going to be stiff, vicious backdrop suplex. Hip drop. Whoa. Look out! Suicide dive! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Russian leg sweep. The Scottish powerhouse, Piper Niven. We already know what she needs to do in this one. Unleash that power. Unleash that ruthless aggression. Unleash the real Piper Niven. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. She just shocked everyone in the ring. Lands the elbow. Oh my God! <laughs> Whoa, a stiff headbutt. Some intimidation tactics from Piper Niven. Ah! Oh, the right suplex. Roll break. Pin stops. This 
is getting intense. Someone check on Saxton. Beautiful. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. She did not come here to play games. Into the pin attempt. Two. And that'll be it. Finally a victory. What a hard-fought win. Here is your winner. I don't see how you can't be disappointed in winning like this. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I... Yeah, now we're talking... The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from Japan. Weighing in at 228 pounds. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of. And that dream is about to become a reality. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. And his opponent from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! A major name before WWE, but now has a Hall of Fame-worthy resume. He's won the Universal title. He's competed in the main event of WrestleMania. And KO still isn't done fighting. Since day one, it has been about one thing. Fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. And here we have a superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overlooked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. But he's got his work cut out for him tonight. Kevin Owens is seriously one tough customer. A prize fighter always ready for a fight. 
That's the truth. No matter the time or the place, Kevin Owens is always prepared and maybe even a little excited to climb in the ring and trade blows. Oh, man. Belly to belly. Vicious. Kevin Owens is a battle-tested superstar with plenty of in-ring experience, but what's it going to take for him to get the win here? We know from KO's past matches that when the time calls for it, he's capable of some truly brutal attacks. I think this match is one of those times. Owens needs to let loose and give this thing his all if he wants to come out on top. Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. And he goes for the pin. No, he kicks out. A truly impressive kick out this late. Shoulder tackle. Picked uh up. Back drop suplex. Kevin Owens feeling a sense of confidence here. What a forearm. Just a step ahead of Owens. Using the ropes for the middle rope. What a roundhouse kick. Gary up there. Ooh. Ooh. Shut it all the way to the outside. When all else fails, sometimes you just have to go the high risk and hopefully high reward route. Oh, look out. Whoa, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Oh, what a right hand! That's gotta be it. It only gets a one count. Wow, I thought this was over. Section. And Owens able to reverse it. Hey, hey. The he can end it here. He's got him. Wards off the pin at two. How in the world did he kick out? The educated hands and feet. Buffet of strikes. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. For the win. He breaks the ref's count after one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Had that one scouted. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his face. Come on. Will it be? The kick out at only one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Uh -oh. Stop it! And Owens might just have this. Is it enough? Looks like this book has a couple more chapters in it. We might be seeing a whole saga written tonight. 11 Owens realizing he's going to have to do even more to finish this. And knowing the lengths he will go to win, that could mean something very dangerous. There it is. Boom. Nice. Kick out. 
to one. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Moonsault! Moonsault! This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this. This big match feel. Up into the torture rack. Is that what it takes to beat KO? things tonight. KO gave it all he had, but just came up short. Owens was hit with all that heavy artillery offense and reached the point where he just couldn't withstand it anymore. Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from Sheriff's Hall, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Oh, 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 are you guys ready? And his opponent from out of this world, weighing in at 210 pounds, the living legend, the spirit, the thing. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> This superstar is quite the buzz behind him going into this match. And for good reason. He's proven to be one of the most fearless and determined superstars on the roster today. Certainly determined. We'll see if all that buzz around him is warranted tonight. Yeah, but they're standing straight across from someone like Braun Strowman. The monster among monsters and a powerhouse amongst powerhouses. Brute strength. Pure power. The things Strowman can do in and out of that ring never fail to surprise both the WWE Universe and his opponents on a regular basis. Man, what power! What dominance! Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Oh, he answers back on the monster. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Now he's been put on the defensive. Braun Strowman making an example of his opponent. Braun Strowman is as physically impressive as they come, guys. No doubt, Cole. Strowman is the embodiment of brute cover. Power right out at one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. The top. What? They got all of that. 
just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh, Forearm's gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine applied. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Get to the gut. Oh, what a right! Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's going for the pin. This could be it! And he got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Somehow tonight, Braun Strowman was stopped. I have to say, I'm pretty shocked. Braun just got toppled. I guess even monsters have their weaknesses, Saxton. From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. known as the chosen one always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in wwe well drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be and he will do anything to stay there well we know drew is rarely ever in a good mood and i got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight prepare to see a heavy hard-hitting affair And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. set for action with the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre. For him, it's all about the thrill of battle, standing your ground and emerging victorious. McIntyre sends his opponents into agony with terrifying power backed by the fury of centuries of Scottish warriors. The ring? His shoulders are down. He's able to kick out before two. So resilient. 
This is going to take some power here. Look at this strength. Absolutely impressive. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Drew is capable up high. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Puts him up down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Slips out of the way. Big forearm. Side slam. Nice. That hit wiped the sadistic smile off McDonough's face. Yeah, as Drew already bringing the fight there. Reversal. What a counter. JD showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Suplex. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Crash land. This could be it. Cover. Kick out at one. This isn't even close to over. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. That's telling your opponent you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Nasty stop to finish it off. Gets him with the counter. A picture perfect moonsault. And don't just look at that as showing off. The revolution involved in that move makes the impact so much more devastating. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. He forces a break before the count of two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, God. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Nice Japanese arm drag. Andrews weathered top offense all over the world, but that one caught him hard. Yeah, and it looked like J.D. is dead set on destruction with that move. And J.D.'s keeping the pressure on. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, with authority! <laughs> He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Extend your elbow. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. McDonough working the competition down. And he gets set back into the ring. McDonough telling his opponent to bring it. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. This is starting to reach Cain and Abel levels of animosity, guys. Jeez, Cole, I hope it doesn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think I can stomach that. Last guy kiss! Back it's into the cover! Oh. Big victory tonight. Hard fought win as well. Your winner tonight. Uh oh, look out. Oh, uh, look who's here. Oh, no. Nasty assault. This superstar never saw them coming. Oh, come on. A successful ambush. The arm cross face submission is applied. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot. Arm is trapped. Cross face. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Nice way to transition out of it. Run right through with the spear. Will Jay take advantage? Drew fending him off. Spin kick to the midsection. Drew McIntyre gets 
the win. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The referee trying to get things in order and finally getting this match underway. Good luck. They're definitely not thinking about the match right now. Oh, gut buster. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. A humiliating slap. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. A oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. And the possibility for serious injury just went way up. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Cody Rhodes, obviously a student of the game. He was raised in this business, knows every trick in the book. He might even know more than the architect sharing the ring with him tonight. These men may be in-ring geniuses, but we're also talking about two superstars who have a habit of letting their emotions get in the way of things. If Cody can keep his emotions in check and force Seth to lash out, this match will belong to the American Nightmare. Rollins. There's a forearm to the back of the neck. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh, my God. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Seth Rollins' arrogance on full display with that gesture. Not the position you want to be in right now. Face first. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Great. Turn your lights out. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Get him into the corner. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Ooh. Part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And you have to think the effects of that maneuver are going to linger. Ooh. Oh man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. Effectively using the knee. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Set into the cover. Only a one count before the kick out. Not time to expect victory yet. Oh my God. Dobby moves up. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. Ooh, goes tumbling to the outside. There's actually no regard for your opponent's safety when you toss them to the outside like that. 
Moves outside. What's the plan here? Side effect. The American Nightmare feeling that adrenaline in his soul. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 no. Wiggles free. Into a chop block. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Not allowing that to go on any longer. For the final cut. On the ropes, referee breaks the count. Oh, what? Uh oh. Can he score the pin? Getting the shoulder up before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Oh, and Rollins. Here comes Seth. Sweet blade. Rollins in complete control. And Tagiri finds its mark. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Blast off. Five stars. Frog split. Looking for the victory. Two. No, he gets the shoulder up. Almost inhuman at this point. And Seth just taunting his opponent now. Side headlock applied. Oh, good Watch. measure. Oh, using the knee. Cody Rhodes lining it up. Cody looking to end this. Oh. Crossroads. Rhodes may be laid to rest. Makes the cover. Oh, and he just kicked out. Rollins staying in this thing. Some could even say he's far too stubborn to have things end like that. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Here it comes. Stop. Now Rollins needs to end this. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins standing tall. Cody Rhodes' worst nightmare has come true. It was a match that could have gone either way, but Rollins came out on top in this one. And he is going to celebrate big time tonight, gentlemen. I can't wait for the after party. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all. And they all will win tonight.
Here we go, guys. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia. And her opponent from Fort Worth, Texas, the WWE Women's World Champion, we see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Rhea Ripley. Ooh. Farms for the. Here's the pin title. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Just hot shot it to the outside. And what's she looking for here? If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Unrelenting attack from the challenger there. You can see their desire for the gold. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxing like a cop. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my god, we can have a new champion. That was a long two count there. When it comes to Rhea Ripley, what is going to be the key to her finding success in this matchup? Rhea needs to unleash herself completely if she wants to make the win tonight. We need to see the nightmare going all out, throwing everything she's got at her opposition. Ooh! Oh, just turn that around. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Ooh, she just turned it around. Has the challenger pin? Is this it? Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. Gets the shoulder up. A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Oh, wow. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Rhea Ripley in a state of distress. Things look dire for Rhea. She did her homework there. No, oh, someone call a dentist. There's that true brutality of Rhea Ripley. Nobody does it quite like mommy. A mounting. And hammering away. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Ripley is headed up top. Watch out. Ouch. Ripley has her sights set on her opponent now. Ripley's attack. Big splash. Taking a moment to get pumped off. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Oh. Oof. Hung out 
to dry. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. This one is headed outside, guys. Big time. The champion into the cover. She pops the shoulder up in one. Her iron will on display for the world to see. Right with the point of the elbow. Rhea, unprepared here. Oh, knee to the face. Looks like the champ is going to make the cover. Shoulders up, shoulders up. I don't believe it. How did the challengers survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. You got to give a lot of credit here. Standing what has taken out many other competitors. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Here we go. Look out below. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. Talk about being bent. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Bang. The champ not in a great place. And look at this now. Bad Tensions coming with this hold. Abdominal stretch. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall. A bear hug squeezing the breath out of them. I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in danger. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Yeah. Running knee! <laughs> Up to the top rope now. From the top! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Right across the knee. He'll look oh. locked in. This is painful. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's World. She still holds the gold. She just made a statement with this defense. She will fight tooth and nail to keep her title around her waist. The legitimate businessman, Tony D'Angelo. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. A man who has amassed power in NXT and has continually grown his family. Oh, yeah. 
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here comes a heavy hitter. Joe Coffey's here to hurt someone badly. A brawler who's paid his dues in battles across Europe and the United States, and he is thirsty and for his more. Representing Dallas from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 248 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Joe Coffey. Joe Coffey's been the leader of Dallas and a force to be reckoned with on every continent he's set foot on. And Coffey's my kind of competitor. His first instinct is to punch someone in the face. When he starts landing those bombs, it's all academic from there. Shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? And Tony D'Angelo is a superstar looking to build a legacy here in WWE, looking to build an empire for himself and his family by any means necessary. You've got to admire a man with ambition like Tony D, a legitimate businessman who started small and has successfully grown his operation. That's something we should all aspire to. The sky is definitely the limit for D'Angelo, as we'll see here tonight. And across the way is the perfect blend of brute force and technical precision that is Joe Coffey. Some might mistake him for just another brawler, but his exceptionally hard hits land with expert precision. There's nothing Coffee loves like a good scrap. It seems like he's always itching for a fight. You mess with Joe, and he'll take your head right off without any hesitation. He turns it around. Spinebuster. Nighty night. And will this be it? Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Tony D'Angelo has really had his fair share of ups and downs since making his debut in WWE. Yeah, well, what did you expect, Cole? He's still off to a better start than most superstars had in their first few years. He has incredible striking ability and absolutely bone-crushing suplexes. You have to think those are going to play a big part in this match tonight. Across the top rope. the shoulder. Ooh, well-planted knee. Ouch. This is what you call high risk. Hot. From way up. You gotta be kidding me. Just crashing down with high impact. Delivers the knee. Look at him. Pride and poise. Pers oh, taking a right to him. No waiting. Elbow drop. Piercing. He's getting a little battered now. And Tony D living up to his reputation, sending a direct message there. Oh, what a back body drop. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Get his press. Just going all out with every blow. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. And he slides him back to the mat. Did you see that? Oh, what a kick! Spinebuster! And Joe saw it coming. Power from the suplex! Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Smash! That is just insulting. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, kick right to the back. An unrelenting assault being brought to Joe Coffey. As I was saying, Tony D'Angelo just crushing his opponent with that offense. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. 
D'Angelo showing no fear, no intimidation. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Coffee tipping the scales a bit here. Springboard off the top. Cross body. I can't believe someone that big can fly like that. Producing a trampling. Has the opposition in the palm of his hand and he knows it. Maybe that will set him up. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Being carried around with ease. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Vicious right forearm. Slam. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. From the top, through the air, and connects. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. Oh, my gosh. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Lands an elbow. Joe Coffey is dictating the pace now. Joe continues to maintain the advantage. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. And now gets tossed into the ring. Tony is completely out of sorts here. Let's all go. Let's go behind. German suplex turns the ties. Up and down into the protoplex. Does he get him here? Pin. He kicked out at two. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot. Sky high. Boom. Tony D'Angelo hyping up the crowd. Boom! Joe with a timely counter. Oh, jarring back elbow. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He's taking this to the floor now. And Tony takes on another heart attack. I bet Coffey is looking to bring this match to a close. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Oh, strong impact. Oh, man. He skirts around it. Thunderous belly to back. Big risk here. He may. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. And he tosses him back in there. Joe looking for the high-risk move. From way up, Tommy, double axe handle. D'Angelo looking powerless to every attack. Tony might be feeling a bit rattled. He wants it one more time. Joe can sense victory. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. No love loss between these superstars right now. Really trying to prove who the better man truly is. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Take off. Whoa, look out. Taken out from high above. You got to be some special kind of crazy to do that. Got it scouted. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Big boot. And the Don hooks the leg and delivers a swinging fisherman suplex. Two! Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. 
A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Solely focused on in a corner. What are they attempting to do here? They're looking for a super No, turns it in Tori Yaranagi. No doubt, D'Angelo ended this. There's two! That was a massive victory. It was certainly a treat for all of us to watch here tonight. This superstar can now enjoy victory. Oh, what? Oh, no, yeah. not the steel chair. Come on. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio. Weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. Serving the United States Air Force. Wesley is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Here we go, guys. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. And here we have a superstar who's been grinding his teeth at the Performance Center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking about, Michael. He's not someone who will rest on his laurels. He never has been, and that dedication is what puts him in position to win tonight. But blink and you just might miss what Wes Lee has to offer. The definition of athleticism, he doesn't make it easy to spot any flaws in his game plan. One of the great in-ring innovators of his generation. The sky's the limit for Wes Lee. Capped off with a knee to the spine. Earth wrists captured. That was nasty. Oh, God. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oof. 
taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. Whoa, leaping through the air. When he lacks in size, Wesley more than makes up for in speed and agility. Could that be enough tonight, Corey? Those traits definitely put Wesley in the highlight reel, but what really makes him a winner is his incredible resiliency. He needs to depend on that tonight. And not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Catches the kick. Connecting with a standing moonsault. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. What? Oh, he kicked out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. And he's taking this to the outside now. No. Oh, turn out the lights. The party's over. Kicks to the face. Capped off with a big one. Oh, he retaliates. Wesley having fun. Getting it going. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, the spear! West went down in a heat for the win! Two count! Three. Exhausted after what was a really tough match. And now look at this. Look at this mess. These two may go right now. No fear in the face of competition. <laughs> Die Jack is here. Get ready for some hard justice. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds, Don Jack. A man who's as cold-hearted as he is big. There are few people who are as disciplined as Die Jack. Methodical in his actions, there is no movement wasted in the ring. With strength, stamina, and shocking aerial skills, there's no telling what Dijak will hit you with next. He has been on a warpath after his rebirth, and now he's fully unlocked his true self. Bringing his brand of justice to the WWE, and no one is safe from Dijak's wrath. A one-of-a-kind athlete. Here comes Scripps. And his opponents, first, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 180 pounds, Scripps! Scripps came up the hard way in St. Louis, and now he uses those street smarts in the ring. Add that to his ridiculous acrobatic ability, and Scripps is one tough competitor. The hype man putting his money where his mouth is. And from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Trick. Williams. He 
He may be abrasive, but Trick has proven to be the kind of friend we all wish we had. Though that mouth has also earned him quite a few enemies. Three superstars with one goal in mind, but there can only be one with their hand raised at the end of this triple threat. I've competed in multiple triple threat matches, and the most challenging aspect is making sure that you stay in the mix. Make sure you're always just an arm's reach away from any opponent. Oh, he knew what was coming. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Nice hip toss takedown. Whoa, that was nice. Incoming. Big time power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. What a close line. Good grief. Not so fast. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. You know, I have to ask Corey how much of an actual strategy is there in a disqualification match. Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through it. Others want to inflict as much damage as possible. And some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. Lives to fight another day. Smart strategy, attack the knee. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. Is it enough here? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Careful. He can do it here. And he breaks up the pinfall. Back suplex. Oh, no. Face buster. Shoulder tackle. Boom. Uh-oh. Hard side kick. And Dijak getting some pushback there. Yeah, Trick saw the opportunity. Off the rope, beautiful, all the way down to the outside. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Scripps is locked in on his opponent now. Boom, running STO, plants him. Nicely done. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. How's that for a counter? And he gets set back into the ring. Whip back into the ring. Nasty knee. Back. Here he goes for the win. The cover. That could have been it right there. Big forearm. And a direct attack brought the trick there. Yeah, now that can be something Dijak can build off of. Dijak is really fired up. DDT. Oh, what a tackle. From behind. Back suplex. We got a cover. He wins. He wins. Here is your. What a performance. Huge win here in this triple threat match. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did, and it's the one currently celebrating his win.
Here comes a high-flying feeder. This is going to be fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Fraser. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Fraser was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins. Perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Fraser's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil may care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully, Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 100. In 90s. Jump starting the action. They always say to have eyes in the back of your head. Looks like this time those eyes were open, Michael. And we're getting dangerously close to the referee calling this match off. These superstars need to come to their senses. I hate to say it, but I think that ship sailed. I have no idea how you stop a fight like this now. Side Russian leg sweep. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, oh man, what a shining wizard. Ooh. Ripcord applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. There's a lot of risk involved with the offensive style of Nathan Frazier. Yeah, but there is a generous reward to be had with that risk. If Frazier can stay focused, he'll greatly reduce the risk associated with his offense. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Yeah, Nathan put that right on target. Uh-oh. Side effect! Able to stop the pin count here. Oh, man! Nathan now has a leg up in this match. Yeah, Frazier looked laser-focused with his attack there. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. <laughs> Working the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. <laughs> Drop kick from behind. Uh-oh. Somersault plunge out of the floor. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Not only does the standing moonsault physically hurt, but it's got to bruise the ego, too. Now some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Ah, oh, face first off the post. And landing with the double axe handle. No one likes a count out. Thrown back in under the ropes. Talk about a close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to 10 right there. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. And the gear here finds its mark. Tough spot to be in right now for Drew Gulak. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Maybe all that studying Drew Gulak does needs to come to the surface somehow. Snap suplex. Very nice. Heading up, he's thinking big. Frazier up top. Nobody home. Guys, we could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is. But they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Wicked kick to the lower back. Go for the arm bar and a... Oh. 
Measuring. Oh, face stop. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Gulak with a systematic attack. Hit him with that breaker. A no-frills assault by Gulak. That's what a true master of his craft is capable of. Gulak looking for the Gulak. It's cinched in. Oh, this one's over. Tap out coming. And he lets him out of the submission hold. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Headed to the top rope. Taking flight. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. He can end it here. He's got him. Great officiating. As the ref noticed, he was on the ropes. <laughs> uh oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Standing moonsault. Frazier may be thinking high risk. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, that's it. Call the match. That could finish Drew off. Cover. And that's it. Nathan wins. Here is your winner. That was an impressive win by Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier stepped up and risked it all to get to this point. This is a big moment for him. I'm going to shake hands now to start things off. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, she paid for it. She did not want to be disrespected. Hey, they should have known better than that. Come on. Tension so high between these competitors. Imagine what they're going to do to each other tonight. With this matchup officially underway now, I have to say, I don't see it being the most sportsmanlike affair. Yeah, well, this business isn't about making friends, Cole. So She's got the shoulders down. And she kicks out. Too early for that pin attempt. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Oh. And down. Oof. Opponent set up in the corner, creating a little... Uh-oh, finds a counter for two. <laughs> Quickly slips behind into the German. Ooh, well measured. Look at the confidence from Ivy Nile. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Oof. Wendy Chu rallying the crowd behind her. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. What now? Stomp to the guts. Oh, an insult to injury. Carefully measured knees. Ivy Nile is one of those superstars whose training really doesn't have a weak point. Is there any way around preparation like that? The one thing Nile does not possess is size, Cole. It's true she trains a lot to compensate for that, but if I'm her opponent, I'm doing everything I can to exploit her. Oh, right to that gut. 
A steady stream of moves taking out Nile. Nile's smaller size perhaps putting her at a disadvantage here. Dragon screw. Ivy's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Yeah, Nile getting some newly determined focus. Patented maneuver out of the Ivy Nile playbook for the Dragon Sleeper. I don't know what choice she has except to tap out here. She's going to have to tap. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Oh, right to the kid. This could do it. No, two count. What a match. Just caught flush. Japanese on drag. Yeah. Rough landing off the suplex. Don't do it! Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Oh, unique offense. A counter by Nile. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. <laughs> and look at front beat back suplex. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. And she breaks the count. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Wendy is taking charge. Uh, he's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. What a hurt, Karan. Up on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. We might be close to the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. That'll turn your lights out. A steady stream of moves taking out Nile. Yeah, Wendy is carefully calculating every movement. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Superstar getting this from. This is incredible. Oh, oh man. Now, Byron, what's up? Oh, we are about to find out. Oh, my goodness. It's a torture rack. Oh, my goodness. It Looks like she has other plans here. I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there. I mean, Nile setting up her opponent. The Dragon Sleeper is applied. This would be an amazing upset. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Oh, stop it. And the cover for the win. to see it overcoming the odds and the disrespect to get the W. Who knows if this changes anything between them, but it has to be nice to stand tall there. You have to consider this win a point made. This is a demand for respect. Burn the 
ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. Once again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponent from Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. And there's the Yuranagi. Land them. Wow! No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Taking out the knee. Focused attack on the body. It's like an SUV falling on you. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Incoming! Good lord! Taking flight! It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oof! Going up against Corbin requires sound strategy and focus. You can't take your eye off Corbin for a second because you can find yourself the victim of an all Assault. Now you need a ring awareness that's off the charts just to survive Corbin's fury. Know where you are at all times and do not get trapped in a corner. If that happens, Corbin will use his Golden Gloves boxing experience to rain lefts and rights on you for days. That was almost a count out. Corbin is feeding off the WWE Universe. He's going for it all. Look at her scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. Gosh, and here's a cover. Kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Capped off with a big one. 
Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Vicious stomp in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh. And it's all of their body weight down across the neck and exclamation point. into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. And it can be all over for Corbin. So goes down. One, two, and that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. Here is your winner. Baron Corbin was definitely not expecting to lose tonight. Oh, I hate to say it, but Baron Corbin squandered away his opportunity tonight. He sure did. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. An absolute in-ring phenom. Already so much success and limitless expectations for the future. And his opponent from one stop, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. The NXT Champion, Braun Within two years of his debut, he won the NXT Championship twice and unified it with the NXT UK title. Many more titles in this young man's future. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. My goodness! 
Nice. That's insulting. He has never had a chance to block any of those. Knife edge chop. Schoolboy pitting combination. Oh, maybe not. But power. Now that's what you call impact. Oh, sharp knee. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. And that's something that will slow down breaker. Working on the leg. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Up high. Cross body from the top. And shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up at one. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Corey, we've seen the immense success Braun Breaker has already achieved. That has to be a tremendous amount of pressure to maintain this sort of trajectory. Yeah, Cole, I don't envy the kind of pressure Braun Breaker has on his shoulders, but he needs to maintain focus one match at a time. If he does that, he should be successful. Into the side slam. Nice. Ron Breaker daring his opponent to try the odds. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Big strike across the back. Knew what was coming there. Run right through with the spear. Watch out now. Ron Breaker wrecking shot. Two count just kicks out. This could be a tipping point in this match. Ron Breaker submission of the old Steiner recliner paying homage to his uncle. I, you can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. DDT Land. Devastating kick. Ooh. Hooked up and DDT. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Setting up. Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. Ilya Dragunov comes up with the win. Dragunov making a statement with this win. This is the result that ultimately awaits anyone who challenges him. Anyone who...